All right, hello. I think everything should be set. Oh, actually, there is something set on camera. So, there we go. Today, uh, I'm finally putting my um, PC together. Uh, I forgot. I forgot to put these on, um, the wristband crap. When I, uh, was, like, rolling this out, literally, it, like, I, I shocked myself. So, uh, it's probably good that I, uh, that I got those, and I'm doing that. Uh, so, this is the, the table I'm gonna be doing the PC on. Uh, I think it, it fits almost perfectly. It's, it's a little off. Um, for, uh, nails, or nails for screws, I got this, it's a organizer, exclusive Emporium organizer, uh, hinged latch, I'll set that over here, I can open this puppy up and put, uh, screws and stuff in them, so I could probably just rip this part off, but... I'll leave this open for now. Um, so, <clears throat> for PC parts, uh, I got... <sighs> this thing. It's uh, AMD Ryzen 75800X3D. Uh, feel like that would be pretty good for gaming so I got that and also I cut it weird but I think that's how they wanted you to do it I don't know but you can see it you can see it right here there it is that's pretty cool and then bad boy uh, two terabyte 980 uh, pro which is pretty good It's fine, hold on. Let me take this off. Yeah, you can hear it. So, <clears throat> we got that. And then, uh, we have these. These, I got two of them. These things. 
there. Ripjaw's DDR4. 2 16 gigabyte. 6 of RAM. So 4. 16 gigabyte, 6 of RAM. That that should that should work out pretty fine. Um what are these? Stickers. Cool. We got a couple of these. These look kind of kind of wacky. Got a couple of these. Four of the um, NFA12 uh, PWM 120 millimeter uh, fan. My motherboard should be able to handle four of these plus the two. These are NF12. Uh, fans for the uh, for the um, uh, AIO the cooler. We have a Seagate two terabyte SATA hard drive. That shouldn't be any issues, hopefully. Um. Thermal paste, just in case. Some cleaning stuff over here. Uh, zip ties. Or cable ties, whatever you want to call them. And then... <sighs> graphics card. Cheap ass. Card 3060. It'll do. Probably will be able to upgrade it in the future. I won't worry about it now. So, good option uh, just to start it out. Better than. Better than what I have currently. Um, I know that. And then <clears throat> the motherboard itself. This bad boy, the ROG Crosshair Dark Hero. This is a monster, a beast of a motherboard. Definitely. And then we got the AIO. This one, and I guess I'll put that here. We have the the uh, hard drive or the power supply. All right, those are important. And uh, then the case and the monitor. And that should be everything. Um, yeah, so I guess I better put everything back <laughs> for now. Uh, I think I will need, I wrote a thing here. Can't really see it. But I made a list. So, I'm gonna try to follow it as best as we can. And for the first step, we need to put on the anti-static uh, wrist strap. Okay, so I need to move all this crap. Uh, Windows 11 ready? I don't. I don't care about Windows 11. We're doing Windows 10. Uh, no. Alright, I think we're okay. I think everything's okay. I think we're gonna run into any issues here. Okay. No. 
out the area. Okay. Okay. All right. Also, I got a screwdriver. There it is. So, uh, we're we're good on that. I'm gonna put that here. So we need to put on the wrist strap and the um the thing. So they say it's probably best to uh, put it on your leg. So I'm gonna do that. I don't know why, but supposedly that's that's a good idea. And then I need to. Oh man, I, I put it on the wrong leg. Oh no. Put it on the wrong leg. Shit. Stay in there. Come on, I'll put it on this one. There we go. Okay. Okay. It's on. Alright. And we take this, and we take this off, this little piece, put it in there, and then, wait, this is the wrong one. Wait, is it? I'm not doing that. That's stupid. Hold on. Let me read the instructions. Okay. For purchasing, properly connect and be included. Thing. Okay. You'd think that this is all that it needs right here. This is a grounding point, but. No, it's not. It's not a grounding point. <laughs> it's not. This is not a grounding point. I'd have to actually connect this to... God damn it. I didn't want to have to ground myself by using my power supply, but that's might be, that might be how I have to do it. Okay. Only... Okay, uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Attach ground point to mod snap. Okay. Did that. No. Okay. So this is this is something. They said that that's attach ground point to mod pad, which I did. But I I don't want to do this. I don't want to screw this into my thing that's all the way over there. I'm not doing that. That's so dumb. Because that's dangerous. Connect the ring to the terminal. And then put it into the grounding point. Jesus. Warning, do not connect or form contact between the ring, terminal, and hot plug or pin. Do not connect ring, terminal, or any pin that you don't understand. 
Although less effective, you could also plug a PC power supply straight into the wall without the ground point attached to, um, without a ground point. And with the PCU, I can't even get this off. There we go. So that's not a ground point. This is not a ground point, apparently. So that's not helpful. Um, my Wi-Fi died for a moment, so what's going on? I'm trying to ground myself, but they want you to put this into your wall. And I don't want to do that. And I might have to basically um, pull out my power supply, put this on, and then clip this onto the power supply. They say it's less effective, but that's just because they want you to actually use the product that you purchased. Um, to the wall without the ground point attached to the PSU switch. Oh, okay, so wait, hold on. So although less effective, you can also plug a PC power supply straight into the wall. Yes, without the ground point, uh, without the ground point attached, and with the PSU switched off, then tape the ground point to the external power supply shell or seat the ground point underneath the power supply shell painted shells won't work as well as exposed metal rounding to a steel chassis that already has an installed pc okay okay so, I guess we need to pull out my power supply. Um. Because I'm not, I'm not putting this on my, on my wall socket. I'm not doing that. <laughs> they don't explain that, uh, pretty well. Like, doing these kinds of things are not explained pretty well and just grounding in general like they'll these like nerds explain the the like reasons why you should ground yourself but then they don't even explain like in detail how it works properly i've seen so many videos about grounding at this point that i'm just like i should be an expert at it but apparently i'm not so that's that tells you how stupid people are sometimes uh but maybe I'm wrong. Let's see, where I have to find the power supply. Oh my god, it's right here. Okay. Time to bust out the big chungus. Hey, Emmy. It's been like five billion years. Time to pull out the fucking big chungus. There it is. The 1,000 watt fucking power supply because the uh... I think the GPU or something has an issue where it can just straight up, uh, it'll, it'll randomly spike in voltage, which is not good. So that's why getting a thousand watt, this thing was annoying to get to, uh, because it was like, because everybody started getting these once the 4090 came out. And so it was, it was kind of annoying getting a hold of one of these like right when i was starting to build the pc i th i think or like just starting to get parts uh this was uh, widely available and now it's kind of annoying to get a hold of so yeah and there's all the different craps on it uh there's the atx cable or i don't even know what that means sata cable that's for the uh yeah um other bullshit how do I open this? How do, how do you open this? The fuck? There we go. Okay, right here. Alright. Here it is! Wait, do I have this upside down? I, I think I do. I think it needs to be open this way. I don't know. I don't... I don't know! Come on. Oh! Okay. Ooh, get out! I just, like, bent these. Oh no, okay. 
Okay. Yeah! Alright. You have the exact same PSU? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Um, it's good. I, I use the... I think it was the 7... Um, the 700 and... 50 watt one uh, on the current computer, which is complete overkill on my computer. Why the fuck? What? Huh? What? Oh. Oh, okay. That's weird. That, that's odd. And then there's this big thing. There's, there's this big thing. Just a bag of wires. There's the actual thing that you need to plug in. Uh, now, I might run into an issue here. I'm going to try it anyways. But uh, my wall socket is a 2. And this is a 3. And they explicitly said, don't put... Uh, don't use one of those, like, things that you plug in where it's, like, a 2 to a 3 thing. Don't do that. So, uh, I guess I'm gonna try the, I guess I'll try doing it with the, with the surge protector. Important information, by the way. Make sure to check that out. And then a giant... Yeah, I had the 750, I think, which was overkill. I did not need it, and this is just information on... Oh my god. Oh no. Okay. Thanks for high performance, whatever. Oh my gosh. That is... That is beautiful. Silent operation. Um... So silent operation at low moderate loads. Wait, low to moderate loads. In this mode, the fan will not spin. Is that turned off? Oh. Single or multiple? What does that mean? Single or multiple? What? So multiple what? Dude. You can't be doing this to me. Okay. So, for whatever reason, this is just telling me that it's it has low to moderate loads in the, this mode, the fan will not spin. That's normal. Voltage wait. High voltage danger. That's that's uh that's not scary at all. That's not terrifying or anything. I love PCs. I love building computers. I've only built one computer before this one. I did most of it on by using the manual for the motherboard, pretty much, after I got stuff put together. This, this shit's scary, like, just in general, just, like, putting... A computer together. Yeah, putting this in a... I think I literally can't ground myself. I think I literally... Because what I'd have to do... Is I'd have to... Because I th I think... Plugging it into a surge protector is not considered plugging it into the wall. Which means you're not technically grounding yourself. Uh, I'm just gonna do it as a joke. At this point, I don't have to turn it on, so I should be okay. Another thing is that I'm trying to not get nervous when I'm doing this because uh, if I get nervous, then I'm going to start sweating. And then I'm just going to start being all oily and just nasty. Plugging it in. It's, I guess technically... Uh, whatever. So. I'm gonna assume that. Me doing this. Ooh. 
Me doing this will ground me. I'm now grounded. Oh, don't show feet on... Don't show feet. That's right. Twitch. Don't do that. What is this? Oh, they give you little cable ties and stuff. I'm gonna keep that and put that in here. That's gonna be important. And then any manuals that I uh, that you got, I'm just gonna shove it off to the side somewhere. Probably, um, probably. Uh, right here for now. That's where it can go. And these pieces can go on my bed. All trash is just gonna be thrown onto my bed. Okay. And this can go over there, and this can go in here for now. The little tie things. Okay. Now, assuming that I am actually grounded, let's start. Uh, okay. <clears throat> Open motherboard box and place it on top of the motherboard box. I have to move everything. <laughs> God damn it. Don't drop that. You go there. Okay. Place this on the case for now. SATA drive. The graphics card. Okay. Put that goes there. Alright. Motherboard. There you are. Welcome to the Republic. I didn't know I was signing up for something so... I don't know. I'm like salivating right now. Uh, what is going on here? How do I take this out? How do I take this out? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. This is fucking expensive. Okay. Getting the, this fucking dark hero thing was stupid. Like, expensive. Like, it's it's genuine. Ooh, a coaster. Is this actually like a drink coaster? Or what is this? What is this sad excuse of, of toxic waste and poor environment control or whatever you want to call it? What is this, a disc? Why did they give you a disc? If this is Windows 11 ready, they should know that most people don't even have disc drivers anymore because computers just don't come with one. I miss when computers did. Oh. Okay. I don't even know what these are. I just have to take everything out. And then... I'm gonna close this up for now. This was very dusty. I could probably use the back. Yeah, I'm gonna use the back of the computer. Box. Here's the PC. Um, motherboard. How do you take this off? How do you take this off? There's... <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't know how to take this off of the this thing. Um, you like lift this up or what? How do you consult the manual? Consult the manual. <sighs> Fuck. Safety instructions about this. Okay, uh, speculation, uh, package contents, installation and tool components before you proceed. Chapter one before you proceed. Okay. Chapter one before you proceed. Okay. All right. Installation tools. That's fine. I got all that. That's all good. I do not have a SATA optical disk drive, which is optional, or a graphics card, which is optional. You need the graphics card. I don't know why they said that's an optional thing. Uh, before you proceed. Okay, before you proceed, um, take note of the following precautions before you install the motherboard components. Take any 
motherboard settings. Unplug the power cord from the wall socket before touching any component. Before handling components, use a grounded wrist strap or touch a safety grounded object or a metal object such as the power supply case to avoid damaging due to static electricity. Okay, I did that. Easy. Okay. We're handling Yeah, yeah. Edges. Okay. Whenever you uninstall components, uh, place it on the ground on a grounded anti static pad or the bag that it came with the components. Wait, so can I not use this plastic container that I specifically purchased? Can I not put this in here? Uh-oh. I guess I could place the bags inside the little containers each. Sure that the ATX power supply is switched off and the power uh, cord is detached from the power supply. Failure to do so may cause severe damage to the motherboard. Wait, before you install or remove any component, ensure that the ATX power supply is switched off or... Yeah, it's switched off. We're good. Okay. This is just showing you where everything is. Where's the part where it tells you to get this stupid car? I'm scared. Okay. Fuck. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. We're okay. I'll just use this coaster as a bookmark. I need to take this off, and I don't know how. I, I don't know how. Is there a part on the back? Oh! Okay, it just slides out. It just slides out. Okay. Okay. My greasy hands just got all over that. Um, this might even be better than... Okay, just pick it up, just pick it up, just pick it up. Okay, this might be even better to just use this as well. <laughs> Alright, I think this is fine. This is fine. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's see. Move these on the ground. Here. What do I do next? Okay. Open the socket for the CPU. Check that the pins are okay on the CPU. Okay. So I actually need to open the CPU now. I don't know what to do with all this other crap, so I'm just going to put this over here. So this is wires that are useful. Um, more stuff that are needed. Uh, more wires. Yeah. A motherboard layout pamphlet. That should be actually pretty helpful. Some stickers to put on your computer when you're done, if you really wanted to. And some TOS or something. A disc. Should be pretty helpful, too. Okay. This is it. Okay. Why is there an ad? Or not the ad.
Time to take the CPU out. <laughs> All right. Here's the CPU. <laughs> Okay, it's very important that you be careful when you open this, because you don't want anything to come out. Avoid touching the pins. I don't think I see a single pin. Fucked up. I'm gonna put it back in here. Okay. Alright. I'm going to close that back up for now. And I'm going to set this off to the side. And I'm going to be ever so gentle with everything. I don't need the music. I don't need the music. I can just put this over here for now. I need to focus. Focus. No music to soothe my ADHD brain. AMD socket aim for a motherboard when a compatible BIOS update has been installed. I would assume that my BIOS should be almost entirely upgraded to the one that came out in April. But I do have on this the firmware update on my uh, flash drive. So I should be okay. That. I'm gonna... Put that over there. Okay. Alright, next we need to check that the pins are okay, okay, avoid touching the gold contact pins, line up with the, uh, the CPU with the socket, so this is going to be the scary part. So, there should be, on here, a little indicator. there. So I'm going to rotate this so it's lined up with my face. There's a little indicator right here showing where to go. And it should line up. Do not force it. Be It's in. Okay. I think it's in. I'm going to do the scary part. And I'm going to latch it back in place. Okay. We're good. For now. CPU is in place. It will drop if, this, if it went incorrect. Push down on it to prevent it from moving while putting it uh, putting it down to work. Okay, okay, that's in. Hopefully, because fuck me if it doesn't. Oh my god. Okay, it's like doing an operation right now. I think these are Wi-Fi, but I don't even know if they're actually connected to the Wi-Fi, which is fine for me. I don't care, but it would have been helpful if it did. There is 
the BIOS thing that I need to do, and then there's a BIOS button. I think you need to hold down the BIOS button for a certain period of time, and I think it blinks. There was like a there was a tutorial video that it came with, and then it was just like, oh okay, well, this is, this is, well I can't find it now. I can't find the video, so I don't know. I can't find it. I'm gonna put the box up somewhere. This needs to be like dust and shit on this. Okay. Next, what's next? Let's see. All right, I'm gonna turn that back up. I was getting kind of hot. Don't float towards the. Here though. Okay. Installing the memory. Unbox the RAM and be ready to put it in the computer. Read the read the manual for the RAM channels. Oh god. I think there should be a little that little piece of paper with the this. Let's see. So the channels should be B1 and then a1 and then b2 star and then a2 star so it should be so if i rotate it like this this is a2 star this is b2 star so what we would technically need to do take one of these and then question why they did this oh it's actually not that difficult never mind that's not that hard Feel the rush. Yeah. Yeah. Feel the rush. What is this? A uh, little sticker. Uh, mixed memory kits. Memory kits are sold in match kits and are designed to run together as a set. Mixing memory kits will result in stability issues and system failure. So, hopefully, me buying two of these. Should not run into any issues. Or, sorry, four, technically. I shouldn't, hopefully, run into any problems. But, why did they put it on it like this? This is stupid. Because I can't get it out. Why would they do that? What? Okay. So, we have one. We have the other. I'm going to set them down again. These are not as delicate as you think they are. They should be a lot easier to install. I think. So I'm just kind of making them loose in the box. So then we open that. I hopefully I didn't break anything at the bottom just now. Open these two. And uh, I guess put this in. Should be a little latch. Is this right? No. This way? It's this way. Yeah. Gonna give me resistance, huh? Oh my god. You can't tell me that putting in putting in these things feel awful every time. They feel like you're breaking it. Even though I am putting in uh, putting it in correctly. Two snaps. That should be good. And then 
I think I can, I think I can put in another pair. I should be able to. It's technically not necessary. It's kind of a little overpowered, but shouldn't be any issues with this. Oh, that's actually easier. Sometimes it's the opposite. So I'm going to check just to make sure that it's actually the same as the others. Because sometimes they flip flop it. It should go in. Feels so bad. Why does it feel so bad? Like, why does it feel like the worst thing possible? should all be in. Yeah. Okay. Those are all put in. I'm pretty sure. Um, so, I think we're good on that. I hope the god the bottom of this is not like completely destroyed right now. Now what? <laughs> now what? Okay. Raise the manual. Install the M.2 SSD. There's a heat sink pad thing you need to unscrew and take off. Avoid putting M.2 into PCH and put it um, to the CPU. And then also take off the thermal pad plastic thing on the heat sink. Make sure the tiny shitty piece calls a standoff. And make sure it's installed. Okay. So I think this is the, um, the thing they're talking about. I don't know. Let's look at the, uh, the layout. Where's the heat sink? Doesn't tell me. M.2 sockets right here. So I guess at the bottom. So this is the M.2 sockets. What is this for then? That's also an M.2 socket. Fuck. Okay. Screws are those. I'm going to see if it's uh this size. Let's see. out unless it stays on there they might just stay on there
Whoa, okay. I don't think it comes with the standoff. And there's these little thermal things there that you need to take off. I probably need to do that for both of these, wouldn't I? Um, did it come with standoffs? Uh, right here. I think these are the standoffs. These little tiny things. Man, they are tiny. And that's the... That's the M.2 socket as well. So it should... It literally has steps, too. Step 2. What was step 2? Oh, the CPU fan? What are you talking about? So I guess that's what I need to put in. Put in that standoff. Now, I don't know if... It will work on that one. I don't know. I guess it would have to go on this one? What the heck is that? What did I just touch? There's this like rubber part. I think I put it on this one. I think I put it on, on that one. Because I think my... I don't think I need- oh, oh, oh. I think they're like compensating for like smaller M.2 SSDs. I need to screw this in. Shit. Okay. Let me attempt to try and screw this in my finger. Okay. So, I guess I better get the hard drive out. How do you... How do they want you to take this out? Come on, Samsung. Really? They, they packaged it well. I guess there's that. Um, ah. I think this is it. Ah, there's a little sticker. That is preventing it from being openable. That's Use this. Man, I'm really good with uh cases, huh? PC part cases. That is some tough, and I mean tough, uh, tape. Wow. There she is. This beautiful beast. Damn. So... I put this in. It should slide in. So? Ah, okay. I 
I don't know if I need the standoff then. Hold on. Do I even need the standoff? I don't even think I need the standoff. Because... just goes on on there right I should be able to just lay it flat in there and then use the screw that it came with right okay I need the, I need an installation guide for the for the uh and not to Okay. Hold on. Okay. In that two installation two uh chapter two six or something. Where is it? Utility I'm in the- hold on. Table of contents. It would be in chapter 2. 2.1.4. Okay. Three. And then it'll even tell you how to plug it in. That's kind of cute. And that two installation. Here we go. Supported in that two varies. So these have screws on them that are basically connected. Oh, it already has the standoff on it. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. I should take both of them off just in case, shouldn't I? Let's purchase separately. But you want to install it. You have to. Yeah, on the bottom one, which I guess is where I should put it. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with the top one. But there's a bottom one, and the bottom one is where you'd put on the standoff. That's what they're kind of referring to, pretty much. And it also has room at the bottom for other ones. I'm going to put it at the bottom, assuming that's where I need to put it. And I'm just gonna use the thing properly. And then I'm gonna screw that in and then screw it back in. I'm going to do that just in case, because that's probably the safer way, honestly, is putting it at the bottom one than the top one. I don't think it uses similar logic to uh, whatever you call it. Now, whenever I lift this, it should lift the whole thing for me, like so. And then I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to put this back on, but first, just in case, I will take the, uh, the plastic off of the heatsink, even though it's not necessary, and I'm going to put this back on. There should be a flick. So for whenever you want to install it, rotate it to the left until you hear a little click. It should go in there. Hold on. Ah, 
Ah, okay, so it's gonna start fighting me. Hold on. Don't strip it. It's one thing you don't want to do. So that should be on there. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the thing. I don't think it's necessary to have these on. Okay. Now we're gonna do the standoffs. Because I'd rather do this the way that I know that I'm supposed to do it than to do it the other way, just in case. Although Shouldn't even be an issue, but yeah. I'm gonna place this here. Rotate it. Okay. There. Where is my there it is. out should be freestanding and that should clip to there so now we take make sure not to bend it all the way make sure that that's in and then take the Beautiful. Did I just lose it? No. Okay, good. That should be in. Okay. And now we put we take this heat sink crap off. So not even on it. Hold on. I need to unscrew this so I can adjust this to be in the right spot. So that should go in. Rotate it at both ends just to be sure. It should be in. Okay. That heat sink is right on there. That's good. Okay. All right. 
Okay. We got the CPU. We got the SSD. We got the RAM. What's next? Demo pad, unscrew, plug in the SSD, push down on the SSD and screw it back in. Turn the screw on a flashlight first so you hear a click. Put the seat back on, installing the cooler. So now we're going to need to install the cooler. <laughs> uh, that's that's going to be a little spooky, a little scary. I want to this up with the this anti-static plastic. I'm trying to get a grip on that side and then a side and then I need to Oh <laughs> Hopefully nothing got fucked up just now. Everything okay? Are you okay? Can't tell. Okay. <sighs> I hate this, but necessary. That's fine. Whatever. Hopefully it stays. Hopefully. I'm gonna move it a little bit closer to the edge because of a part that is gonna be a little bit scary for me. It's the first time as well. All this All this is literally first time for me, pretty much. Okay, I need music. I need music. <sighs> okay. We're I'm like sitting here, like trying to find like a corner that I can pick at. There we go. Okay. How long have we been streaming? About an hour? Okay. Cool. Okay. Alright. Now it's time to find out how to open this. There it is. Okay. It says, do your thing. Some other garbage. We're gonna have like a bunch of stuff here. Here is the radiator itself and the actual CPU cooler, the, the main dog. And we're gonna keep the thermal paste on there. That is, if it, if I don't have to change anything when we do a pre-build benchmark, that is if I do that. That over there. And then here's like the brackets and stuff. And the notches. This is one of those, oh yeah, here's the fans. These are actually really good, uh, decent fans. These are ML fans. They use um, magnets to spin 
but we don't need to use these because we have our own fans. Uh, that is the cool ones. But those are there, and I'll probably hang on to these. Obviously. Uh, I think they're the F12 ones. These things are very nice. Very clean. Yeah, I don't know how to install these, but we'll figure it out. Uh, I'm not going to open these just yet. I'm going to set these off somewhere. Probably right here. I'll put these right here. Okay. Plastics. So much plastic. So, so much plastic. Okay. Environmental nightmare. Inside. This is um like documentation in here. I'm going I'm going to leave these in here, I think. Cuz I don't think I need it. Although it is very nice. It's a little not necessary right now. So we need to consult the manual for this. I don't even remember where I put it. Where did I put that? It must be in the box. Because I did not see it. Okay. Fox Chan. under this where's the instructions it must be with something else maybe maybe it's in here is this it no these are just parts what happened to the instructions Thing here. What the fuck? This is a mess. Where the fuck did, like, it all go? Is it in one of these? No. Okay. Underneath. It's not over there. 
How did this not come with- Does this just not come with the exp- No. No, it's supposed to come with- It's supposed to come with documents. Yeah, it's supposed to come with a manual. Where's the fucking manual? Where's the manual? Pretty sure I did not get a manual. I'm pretty sure I did not. I was not given. Wait. Here it is. I don't know how I removed this. I didn't remember removing it or putting it up, but here it is. Installing the back plate. Okay. It's not even in my language. Hold on. Included hardware. Sixteen long fan screws. So we have the screws, they're right here. All the screws are in here. We have an Intel backplates. Do we not get my actual backplates for AMD? Um, oh, this is for Intel. Hold on, wait. It says on the top. AMD, here we go. So we have an AMD... Um, AM3, AM4 mounting bracket, which is this thing. It's, it's, uh, it's, I think this is it, or these are it right here. These mounting brackets are for AMD, AMD AM4. Okay, we have the fans, we have the cable. Washers, radiator, screws, thumb screws, long screws, and the screw clip. I don't even know what the screw clip is. So. I, I guess we do. I don't even know if this is it or not. But. We got those. So we need to do AMD Intel. Or not Intel, but AMD. Installing the AM4. So remove the integrated Intel mounting bracket. So we need to remove the Intel bracket, because fuck. AMD apparently. I say fuck Intel, but you know, whatever. I hate having. I hate. Oh shit, that came off of it. That's not good. Luckily for us, the thermal paste did not come off at all. Pre applied one, but we have. I have a way to clean it just in case, but this does not stay on it at all. It, it was like loose, either that or it just happened to come off. But we have to apparently remove brackets on this, but I don't even know how they'd want you to do that. I 
Okay. So, install, so remove the mounting bracket. Install AMD bracket by pushing both sides into the slots on the pump and secure. So you just pull these off pretty much. Out. Well, I don't think I I knocked this too hard. I think it should be okay. Right, hopefully. It doesn't help me. No, it is important that the AMT retention bracket is evenly secured on all sides before installation. Okay. Well, what about the thermal paste, my guys? What do you want me to do about that? Because this doesn't work on it anymore. I guess it does. Kind of, not really, so that's pretty epic. I don't know what they want you to do once. Okay, well, I guess I'll just do this and then hope that the thermal paste is okay. I just have to be very careful. Okay, next. All right, install the fans and radiator. What does it say on here? Should be fine, but if you want to clean it off, use wipes and clean it off, blah blah blah, use microfiber, yeah, exactly. Besides blub, you can also do MX. So the AIO thing on top of the CPU consult manual. God damn it, okay. Attach the radiator and fans as shown for the best cooling performance. We recommend mounting the fans as an air intake to the PC. Well, I have a diagram where I push the air out from it instead. So, um, I'm trying to figure out. So it would be like on this side here, pretty much. I need to put the fans on. I need this to be like... I just don't want to hit it. I don't want to get crap on it. This is going to rub against it. I know that. So I need to move this uh, somewhere a little bit less easy. Because they don't fit this easy. Okay. So, how do they want you to install the fans? Oh my god, okay. I guess we'll just figure it out. Okay. Give me the manual. Is there no manual? This is... This is the manual? Or what? Yeah, 
This fan is the result of two years of intensive development, our engineers. This, this document includes some instructions for installing and running and cleaning. No, it doesn't. Where is it? Where's the it, instructions? Is it hidden? Is it hiding? Where's it hiding? That's helpful. Unless this is it. Oh, this is it. Okay. When installing the F2 on a heat sink or radiator, please use mounting mechanisms supplied with your heat sink or radiator, fan clips, screws, etc., as described in the perspective respective manual. Well, it doesn't even explain that. It just says ex attach the radiator and fans as shown. So they're expecting you to be doing this already while the PC is installed. So pretty much... Okay. I don't know, man. This is kind of dumb. So I believe... Which way is facing? This way is blowing air forward so i guess that means we do it like this right um Okay, perfect. And air blowing away, so this takes it in. This is shooting it out. Perfect. Okay, that's what we need because I have a diagram that I drew myself. I made it in MS Paint. Let me see. Let's see if I can find it. Might be in Save Pictures. Yeah, right here. I have it. I have the image. Uh, yeah, we want we want it to push out air, not push in air through it. When installing as a case fan, either use the proprietary clip systems if the case features a clip system or the fan installation mounting screws and silicone anti-vibration mounts. In order to install the fan. Using the silicone mounts, please first pull the silicone through the mounting holes of the case. Then put fan into the silicone mounts and then pull them through the mounting holes. Okay, I will worry about that in a minute. So I think I have to use the screws that it comes with, pretty much. So we'd be doing it like this. It works exactly similar to this. We're just now... I guess I need to try to find the... I need to try to find any information about installing fans onto the radiator. AMD STR4? The fuck is an AMD STR4? I'm using an AMD4, right? I guess I'm doing it right. I don't know. Because <laughs> these could go. No, they can't. Never mind. Yeah, they don't even go on there properly. How do they expect you to screw this in to this? What? Okay. 
so there's no information on installing the fans to the radiator. Fuck. I <laughs> What the fuck? Okay, maybe I don't do the thermo maybe I don't do the actual cooler yet. I don't know. Okay. Alright. Look. <laughs> PCs are stupid sometimes, and this is one of those times where it's stupid. Because I don't know what the fuck kind of screw I need. So they mention F and I, and then there's H, so I use the long screws to put it through. I'm gonna try that. If I can even get to them. Because there's about 50 million different kinds of screws in here. So this one... Is that correct? A? Is that what they call it? So it mentions A... they mention in here so a and then it says h which is the fan itself so i need to screw in the long screws the a ones i'm going to put these in here with the plastic inside of the container like that Okay. All right, and then the rest of these can go back in here. These are washers. They have washers in these. Oh god. Do I need to put washers on these or no? No, I don't. I is the washers, I think. Yes. So I don't need to do that yet. I can just put these in here. And hopefully everything will be okay. I'm just gonna do this slowly. I will need these. These are important. I'm not gonna categorize them, I don't think, but... I think I'd, I will need these bracket things, whatever they are. What did I just drop? I don't know what I just dropped. I think it was this washer. The washers are like... Terrifying. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. I'm going to keep four of these with me right here. That's three, and then I need to grab the le another one, which is right here. Is often hard to make the NFL playoffs. An ad. I'd say the key to success is having your NFL playoff on.
wonder why they give you so many. Dun, 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 dun. Alright. We want to screw it in, but first we need to make sure. This might be too big. No, it's it goes in. Alright. That's not going in. I need to take these out for now. Is that even going in? I guess it is. I don't know. I might need to pull it out. Hold on. I don't want to strip it or do anything crazy. Does it actually go in, into here? I guess it does, but... I can't... Wait, was I just screwing it into the wrong thing? A little bit there? Oh no. Dude. I fucked it. Oh no. I fucked it. Look. See that? It wasn't going into it, I just pushed it in. Wasn't like that before. Fuck, dude. I can try and see if they didn't explain that, dude. I didn't know. Whenever you install the fucking fans, they don't explain that shit. I guess I'll just leave it alone, and maybe there won't be any issues. I'm just going to assume that it's okay, I guess. But, again, they didn't really explain that, and I don't know if these even have any purpose at the bottom. I don't know if they have any purpose, because they don't- there's no warning for it, first of all. And installing fans into this is a nightmare. I don't know if I'm supposed to have it like this. Or if I'm supposed to have it up or down. I don't know. Oh my god. 
so um f minus f i i have no idea if it's gonna be if i just basically ruined it or not there's no indication for it or anything and Yeah, it's just it's just unfortunate, honestly, that that happened. And I hope to God that it doesn't cause any issues at all. And I I didn't just basically completely destroy my radiator from that one little tiny incident. See what the internet has to say. No. <sighs> I'm just going to hope to God. Uh, I'm going to hope. I don't even know what, like, the average temperature for, like, a computer is, I'm going to be honest. So. It's not screwing because I don't think I'm doing this right. But, whatever. Uh. That's going to be uh, anxiety inducing. Oops. Stop stripping it, please. Why is it fighting me on this? Why is it fighting me? I like that ad, by the way. God. <sighs> God. You are killing me right now. Nope, it's not going in. <sighs> Why is this so dumb? Okay. I'm going to unscrew this one so I have more room to goof around a bit with this one. So this one is apparently put in. But, yeah, I don't know. 
This is the part where like everything fucking goes wrong, pretty much. Everything. I'm building this PC. Let me try to screw this in. Doesn't even want to go in anymore. And I don't know if it's put in or not. Yes, it is. Same with this one. I need like a hard surface. I this screw does not want to come off. Okay. Okay. Paint this again. I think that's in. God damn it. It's doing that thing. I don't know if... Is there just something wrong with this one? Or does it just not want to go in? Because why else would it not want to go in? Tint number so that should go in. It's like, oh my god, it just, it's like, it's like you don't know if these are in or not. Like, I think this is in, but it's like rotating around weird. I think only like two of these are in, and these top ones are just not in at all. Again. But I have to take everything out for me to know. Piece of shit, fucking. I don't know. I need, again, I need to be careful because I can't let that fucking thermal paste get on anything. Alright, so I guess I'm taking everything out again and then inspecting to see if I, if I did more damage or not. Because I have no indication of really knowing if things are going in or if it's just tightening up. 
Let's see. How did I do? Better. Again, that one part there that I fucked up. Yes. Um. So maybe they were getting screwed in. It's just that they weren't really putting in the work, you know. Like this shit is genuinely like it doesn't want to go in. Yeah, this one, it genuinely just doesn't want to go in, that's why. It just doesn't like that whole idea, I guess, or something. I don't know. It's just, it just wants to fight. It, it doesn't. It's not because it's not in properly. It just doesn't want to go in. Which means I'd have to put in more um, pressure into it, pretty much. So, we're going to attempt this once again. in there. <sighs> okay. Attempt this one. We'll see if this works out. That should be in there, I, I would assume, at least. What's next? Those clouds are taking place in front of you. Heavy shape can be everywhere from the Mad Fountain to Death Room. <sighs> and when I came in, I saw oh, the God. Of this place. But in this shit. Let's attempt this one. I'm like... Hey, okay, that's in this time. It didn't want to go in before, but now it will, so... Whatever. Hopefully this one will want to go in too. Okay. That should be in there. Okay. That should be in there. And then final one. Okay. Wow. That was a struggle, just to put one fan on. I can't wait to do it again. For a second one. Because... Why would it be easy? Why would it? Now, again, I hope to God that that radiator fucking these little parts here i hope that 
What is the little lines for the radiator? See, what do those even do? So I'm guessing there's tubes. Okay, we're good. Never mind. Someone, I finally found someone uh, having the same issue. And they said it's, they don't have liquid in them. They're just like fins. Trading them a bit and give it a go should make a huge difference. I don't know if the radiator pump was pierced or not from the from the uh the screws. I do not know about that part. That's I don't know. It wouldn't be a funny it wouldn't be a funny uh stream if I didn't somehow fuck up something. I'm going to loosen the screws again and check it just in case. I don't think there should be anything going on with it. Do I have a flashlight of some kind? I do. Stay open. Okay, I'm gonna have to unscrew a lot of these. Okay. Most of them. I didn't want to have to unscrew the whole thing. I just wanted to basically check. Check it. Fuck. That's where it, oh god. Okay. So this is where the, okay, the screw just straight up came out, but that's okay. God damn it, just stay still. I think the, I think it's fine. I think it's okay. Okay. Ads, I'm going to fucking kill you. Alright. Okay. Okay, that should be fine. That should be safe. Hope to God that it is. I... <sighs> I'm... Constantly in pain. Let's see. 
Um, next one. And if I somehow installed this incorrectly and I put it in the wrong way, uh, I'm going to be even more upset than I was before. Okay, that's fine. It's nice of them to include these really cool cables that I'm not going to use for my instance. Okay. I'm going to move this somewhere else for now. Over here. And I'm going to painfully install my radiator again. Or not radiator, but install my fans second time let's see okay there should be a little click which there was Is that put in right? Yeah. The only reason I think it should be okay is because literally the fans, like, isn't even in that spot. It literally shouldn't make any difference, I think. I think that's why there's no warning about it. It's just, unless it actually somehow pierces the um, the tubing, which I don't think I did. I don't know why the tubing would be right in that very corner. I think it should be fine. I think. I, I don't know. I think it should go in. Wow, that was actually really clean. And concerns me, because that was very clean, and it, there was no struggle other than the very end. Uh, this concerns me greatly. Um, why did you not struggle? Why did you not? Is there- there's something wrong here. There has to be. Why else would it not have any... ...issues? No, that- that just straight up went in properly. Okay. Well, good thing I checked. Because <laughs> that felt too easy to do. It felt too nice. And hopefully it's in there. Good. No moving. That's fine. That's, that's fine. Next one. Okay. Now this one's giving me a fight right now. And I'm not entirely sure if it's in. Who knows? Okay. That should be going in. Okay. Okay, what's what's going on here? Why is this not why is it doing that? Yeah, there's something wrong here. Hold on. think that it would just go in, right? But... Okay. 
Okay. Why? Why? Why is this fighting me? Why? Is it because it's fucked? I, I have the, f the one that's like all fucked up now. Yeah. It's because this one's all fucked up. Yeah, this one's all fucked up. Fuck, man. Um... God damn it. Is there any way I can fix that? Is there any kind of- uh, maybe I can use like a smaller screw. Maybe I can somehow get that through. No? There's just no grip to it now. Damn, man. Maybe there's some, there's there has to be something in here that I can use for a situation like this. I could maybe try using this. Maybe see if I can somehow. Oh god. No. Yeah, that works, but kind of. Yeah, this screw is completely fucked now. I can only do so much with it. That's annoying. <sighs> Fuck! Okay. I mean, I think we have more in there. I might just need to try to replace it entirely. I guess I could do that, but... I didn't want to have to, but... That might be what we have to do. Let me see if I can pull this out. Yeah. Just get out of there. Why are they so bad? Uh, what do you tie up the book up, Cody? Put it face Probably on? Probably can't see it. Because it won't focus on it. Tie up. First one and done. My hands are so dry. You. I'm gonna try a new one. See if we can get it in there. Without issues. Just don't force it. And it'll be good, just like that. I think that's in there. I'm gonna do this one just a little bit more. Okay. I think that's in there. I think these are all good. Which means that that's done for now. <sighs> I, that other screw is just all messed up now, pretty much.
but yeah. Okay. So, we have that. Now what's next? Now we need to actually install the mount on top of the CPU and consult the manual specifically. Okay. So, prepare the mounting bracket. We need A, so we need so we need D and E. And if we consult it over here, E is the thumb screws. So we need two of those, I guess. Insert the AMD screw clips and secure the thumb screws as shown. Do not tighten the thumb screws all the way. Got it. So I need uh, two thumb screws, I guess. So one. It's like Legos. No. That's not one. It's like a big chungus. Where is it? Big chungus. And then the screw clips. And then fasten them to it. Securely. But don't tighten the thumb screws. Okay. Just one screw clip. Here is two screw clips. I can take this AIO. Put it through. So. in there loosely switch to the other hand and then we just gonna hold it in place there we go now what All right. Install the pump unit. So it actually needs these clips on there. Oh. Okay. 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 Line the bracket with the stock AMD mounting clips as shown, and then tighten the thumb screws until secure. <clears throat> okay. All right. Guess I'm doing that. Are you ready, kids? Oh, I actually put these in wrong. I put them in upside down. Do I only need... I only need two parts. I see. I see why they mean, um, don't tighten it yet. They want you to basically fasten it in first and then use the thumb screws to tighten it. Ah, shit. Yes. Okay. Alright. 
time for the fun part of fastening these funny clips in. So, do the same thing on the other side. Actually, I probably should do it like this. upwards as it's going to be I'm going to be doing it like this instead pretty much because I need to this off of that right here hold on this is fighting me the entire time means that I may have put these in wrong. Maybe not. I don't think I did. I think I actually still put the, I think I put the fan things in okay. So I think those should be fine. That should be in. I think this should be in. Pretty much. I think that's in. This thing sucks. This thing sucks eggs. What? What? These clips don't stay on. Right. At, at the moment, at least. Like, what? Hold on. I have a feeling I need to take one of these off and just ex inspect it. I just touched the thermal paste with my thumb. Or with my finger. Ah, that'll, that'll be fine. It's just a minuscule amount. So what, they expect you to do it like this? How the fuck do, you, do they expect you to screw this in while also holding the the CPU down? Like what? So this is supposed to hold the CPU down. No. 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 You can't. You can't just be like, that's gonna hold it down. No fucking way. And you know what else? You know what else? I put it in wrong. That's why it's probably not gonna go in securely. I put it in wrong. I have to take the- I have to like take these clips off and then redo it. Which isn't an issue because they're not like put on there or anything, but Yeah, there's like a tiny amount of thermal paste now gone on this. So hopefully we don't run into a huge issue with that. Uh maybe that's why we're doing a bench test. I guess, or whatever you want to call it. I have to take these off, and then I need to... I might just straight up uh, clean this off entirely, and then put in my own thermal paste. Honestly, I'm not joking. I think that's what I'm going to do. They want you to do it like this. Yeah, that makes more sense, honestly. But... There was no indication, and to my 
chimp brain. I didn't understand it. I think I'm just gonna leave it how it is. I think that I I think I'm just gonna leave it because it was barely any amount that my chimp fingers. That's tightening it, but we don't want to tighten it just yet. The other side, the exact same thing. This is very hard. Okay. Attempt two, I guess. Oh my god, I put it in wrong again. How? How did I manage to do that? I'm genius. I'm so freaking smart. I just touched more thermal paste. This is so stupid. God. This is so fucking stupid. Hey, I'm gonna need to replace the thermal paste now, at this point. I might as well. <sighs> Where is that? Where did I put it? I had it here, but now it's not here. I put it over here, didn't I? Yep. And then I guess I should clean my pizza grease on everything. Alright, let's open this puppy up. May cause allergic skin reaction. Great. I don't have enough of that, don't I? Alright. Come on, come out. Oh, it smells like Dr. Pepper. Or like lemon lime. That's weird. I don't I don't know if I like that or not. Alright. <clears throat> Right. Should have cleaned all of it off. And then switch to this just to kind of give it a 
check. I don't even know what that is. Oh, hopefully it's fine. <clears throat> okay. This over here. We're going to attempt to do this again, but this time I need thermal paste. Right here. There it is. Funny thermal paste. It smells kind of bad in here now. I mean, it's not like terrible, but. Okay. I'm going to do a. I should probably hold it like this, not the way that I was doing. Oh my god, okay. I think that should be enough. <laughs> I think that should be okay, right? Is that- is that okay? Did I do an alright amount, or did I do too much? I can't tell. <laughs> the cap. There it is. Like, came out of nowhere. So I didn't know if, uh... There we go. I didn't know if I needed to. I'm just gonna keep this on, on the side for now. Okay. Let us attempt... I think I put too much compound, I think. I feel like I put too much compound on there. I, I think I put too much compound. I'm getting... I'm getting nervous about it. Okay. I don't want to fuck up my... thing, so... I will... Do this again. I'll do this again. Okay. Let's see. Go over it with a little microfiber thing. Make sure I wet everything. Okay. Okay, all right. Let's attempt this again. This time I'm not going to try to. I'll just, I'll do a pea-sized little dot. Perfect. Perfect. That's good. That's a fucking pea-sized dot, right? I think. I 
I think I did that right this time. That should be good. Okay. All right. Okay. Attempt number 50 or whatever. check fuck I may have added too little I may need to add just a little bit more. should be good okay that now it should be fine that should be fine okay Let's see. show me what you've got Get in there, please. God damn it. Now I don't know if I need to wipe it. Okay, I'm just gonna continue. Get on there, please. This one's in place, but this one isn't. On there. It won't go in. Dude. Oh my god. Okay. Let's do this. Just get in there, please. Uh, god. There. Stay. D. 
Dude. I don't know if... I'm the only person who just struggled with that, or... Like, another thing is... Thank god I'm doing... Thank god I'm doing a check on temperatures, but... Still, oh my fucking god. What an actual stupid fucking piece of shit. Just stripping it at this point. I think I need to stop trying that. I think this thing just turns indefinitely. I don't know. Fucking piece of shit. Stall the pump unit. Fuck off. Now what, you fucking piece of shit. Connect power pumping cable to an available SATA power plug or some shit. Ugh. God, okay. You don't need to get mounting brackets. Maybe do pre-build test later in pages. Troubleshoot and make sure the temps are normal. Okay, so I need to check and see if it's okay. Pre-build test setup. You'll need power supply, PSU, and the accessories. Uh, your graphics card comes with, which is, I think I threw it over there. Sorry. Let's grab it. Uh, why am I doing that? Okay. This thing... Okay, so install graphics card. Pull off any plastics that protect it and plug it in. Make sure your motherboard is on the box. It came in. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna set this off to the side for now. All these stupid ass cables. I don't even know how. This is gonna work. You wanna know another thing that's funny? Is that it's upside down. It's upside down. Well, time to unscrew everything and then redo the thermal paste and then hope to God that I have enough thermal paste. Time to redo the thermal paste. Wasting thermal paste. I love wasting money. I love it. 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 I 
this shit is bad for you. So, uh, I'm going to wash my hands before I do anything with my face. I think I might even need a second... There's a scratch there, but okay. Maybe it'll be fine. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, time to um, regret everything. Regret was a little bit ago. This is not this point. Just sad. Just sad and pathetic. Sorry. That should be okay. Go over it with a little cloth just in case. Should be okay. Or rag or whatever you want to call it. Okay, attempt four. God, there's enough thermal paste in this. I should probably wash my hands in a minute. Should be good. I'm going to go wash my hands after we put in this wonderful thing and put it in on the right direction, which is this way, over here. Not the way that I had it before. Here. And two. This up. Move this one to the ground again. Goes off of me. All right. I don't even know what attempt this is anymore. Okay. There's actually a power button on here so I don't have to use a screwdriver. Oops. Is there a... Need to put this on, on this side. On there. Yes. Perfect. in there. Oh my god. I think it's like perfect. I think we did that perfectly the second time. Okay. I think this is in tight now. I'm just gonna keep screwing it just in case. Yeah, that those are in. Those are in. Those are definitely in. 
I'm going to go wash my hands. I need to um, take this off for a second. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Over here. Alright. Alright. Okay. So. Pretty sure I got any thermal compound shit that I got on me. I think we're good now. These pumps should be good. The idea is that you're doing it like this. Or at least this is what I want to do with it. Um, these pumps are uh, reverse, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, so it'd be like this, pretty much. And I think the fans are in the right place. I think. Uh, I don't know. And. So we'll figure out the whole plugging crap in. Let's see. <clears throat> so I need to get the CPU. We need to install the graphics card. I mean, oops, call it a CPU. I meant the actual thing. There we go. Put this back in its box. <laughs> Oh my god, the smell. Okay, I need to like clean this up in a minute. I will do that in a minute. I'll just breathe in the chemicals. It should be fine. I should be fine, you know. <laughs> just chemicals, dude. It's just chemicals, so it's all good. All right, 3060, my friend. Might have to consult the manual for this one. The OC edition, what does that mean? What are you implying with that one? Graphics card. If I can open it. Uh, MSI. It's a uh, what is this? Platinum card and components and stuff. That over there, down there, 
Here's that lovely uh, graphics card. Let me consult the manual thing. Or GPU installation. I think that's actually, we have to go this way. SATA. BIOS updates, yeah, we'll have to do that. This is actually will give me the information right here. Page 215, 214. We need to find the graphics card. The table of contents. The GPU... The Wi-Fi antenna installation, I'll worry about that in a minute. I don't even I don't even know if this even comes with the antennas. I don't even think this has information on installing the GPU, but I think it should have the uh, slots for the motherboard. Let's see. Number three is the expansion slots. Okay. So I guess the one that's closest to the uh, the one that's closest to the CPU is is the best option for that. Ooh. It is graphics card, the main part itself. It's small. Is this, is this a plastic on the actual thing? Wow, that's fancy. Look at you. And we're going to install it in to the thing. I'll make sure to do it like this. Line it up. Just in. Hello? Is this right? I think it is. Does that go in? Wait, don't push, don't push. Careful. Wait, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please don't fucking do this to me, please. Okay. Go in. Please, God, go in. Okay. I should s slot in, right? in? I guess that's in. I'm going to assume that that's plugged in, I guess. That is sketchy. The fact that it just kind of hangs there, but whatever. There's that. And I'm, I guess that's good. I guess that's good. <clears throat> All right. Grab power supply cables. At a minimum, just grab the CPU and PSU connectors, motherboard connector, as and as many connections as your GPU requires. Um, one. I think that's an eight-pin thing. So, here's the power supply. Um, apparently, usually it would say which goes to what. PCI, uh, 
PCI. CPU. Use the CPU one. So we just need the CPU and PSU connectors. Should say PSU on it normally. It's PCI. CPU again. These are SATA things, I think. PCI or P PCEI, I mean, which I don't think is what I need. Type 4. I think I need this as well. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. I think I need a twenty-four uh, thing, and I don't know about the PC. What did that say? CPU and PSU connector. Well, I don't even know what that is at the moment. I have the CPU and a Type 4, but I don't know if I have a P. I think this is it. I think this is it. It's kind of like a... Oh. Oh, sorry. So that's the peripheral cable. So the weird looking thin ones that were at the bottom. Not this. Maybe this? I don't know, man. I just. I guess this is it. I'll just grab one of everything, I guess, and then figure it out. I don't know. Okay. No. Keep that off. Is it off? I think it's off. it's off let's see so 
there's the 24 pin ATX, which I think is what I need to. Like, I don't bend these, by the way. Let go SATA. Let go SATA. Six plus two PCI and four by four CPU. I don't know, man. I'm not the smartest person when it comes to this shit. Like, plugging in the power supply is probably the hardest part. I'm gonna unplug that for now, and, um... I guess unplug one of these, which should be the... Should be the HDMI right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I need the CPU, I guess, which should be at the top, CPU, this is the part where it's done, it's ATX 12 volt 2, so CPU should be at the here. So CT CPU opt. It's our hmm. this is a Uh, definitely putting me in a weird situation because I don't know. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. So, number six is the power connectors, which are in 1-12. One 1-12 is right here. Power connectors. These connectors allow you to connect your motherboard to the power supply. The power supply plugs are designed to fit in only one orientation. Find the proper orientation and push down firmly until the power supply. So, for A, it needs to have the 4 plus, there's a 8. So it's like a 4 plus 8 connector to it. So I think this one goes here. I don't know about the 4 one. Maybe it was like a daisy chain of it or something. I don't think that's it. I think this is it right here. Maybe? No. This is not it. Well, this would be to power. This would go here. Yeah, this actually goes here. So this is actually the the actual ATX power itself. So like this would be so these two plug in to here. Here. I need I need to I need to put this somewhere where it will be safe. Okay. So this I is one of the uh, main components. I think. 
let's see. Alright, so I think this actually plugs into the actual power supply. I think this goes here. Let's see. I think it does. 24 pin. Let's see. Okay, come on. Yep, that went in. That went in. Okay. Apparently I got a scratch on my thumb. Or my finger or something. Because now it's kind of bleeding a little bit, but not really. Okay, just get it in there. Don't force it in. Okay. There we go. So these are in. This is the actual like part that like powers the computer. So Pretty much, we'd be doing it kind of like that. Like this, this cable always sucks. It's known to be like a shitty cable, so I'd have to basically move all of this over just so I can do this. We'll worry about that afterwards. So for that four plus eight pin combo. I need to find that. I think this is it? No. This doesn't split off. One of these does. I think. Hopefully. This one? No. I don't know what those are for. It's not this one. It's not this. Or these. I don't know. I can't find it. It's somewhere. Hold on. Let me read the manual again. Okay, so it's an ATX 12V2 or whatever, 12 volt. So it would be one of these, right? Is that a peripheral? So it's a 6 plus 2 and a 4 plus 4 CPU. I don't fucking know, dude. I think I know this shit. I don't. Is this split off? No. How do they... Oh, this one does. Does it? I think it does. I think these can split off into separate ones, right? Yeah, I think it does. I just need to find a way to get it off of this. I don't know. This is it. I just don't know how to take it off. Shit's stupid. Unless these aren't, and they... They're fun. I don't know. It's not really helpful. to be split off. I don't know how to do that though. I 
don't think he can. Or else it would have been easier. I'm doing it here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You'd think it would be easier, but it's not. I think they do split off. It's just... I think this is it. It says CPU on it. It literally says CPU. Okay, so it can be split into two. There we go, I got it. I got it. I don't know why I didn't do it before, but I got it. So one of these goes into it, right? So, so that goes into this, or this one, that goes into there, okay, alright, 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 and then the B1, which is just an 8-pin ATX. So I guess it would just be an 8-pin to an 8-pin if that even is an option. Do not connect 4-pin plug only. The motherboard may overheat under heavy usage. To connect the 8-pin power plug. Let me see if we have any of those before I been crazy. Do we have like just an 8 pin to an 8 pin? Uh, no. Not there. Not this one, not this one. Ah! Well, I mean, I guess I, I guess I could just use the same one, wouldn't I? I guess that's what they want you to do. They want you to use a second one where it can split off if, you, if it wants to, but I guess. And use the second one. Like the second one. I guess I'll do it like this. that in and then plug this in uh, next to it which there should be a little indicator right there there we go hopefully that works <laughs> um who knows so those are plugged in and then there's the 24 pin thing so that will go in see Oh yeah, we'll need one for the graphics card, wouldn't we? It's an 8-pin again. Do I have another one of those before I... I 
could try using this one. This is the PC. What's the PCIe? I'm gonna see if there's another one before I even attempt to use this. To be honest. This is like a one where it splits into two. Right, let me take everything out again. So we have this, don't need that for now. This, which is the same thing as before. Give you a lot of those. So that's that's probably what I'm gonna have to use. Don't I? Looks like that is going to be the case. Well, I actually, this one. Does this go into any of these? I don't think it does. No. Okay, so it's going to need to be one of those weird ones that I have over here. It's going to be one of these. PC, IE, and we'll see if this works. Who knows? Do the um Ah, this is one of those weird daisy chain ones. Yeah, these ones suck. It's like daisy chain ones. I don't know if I want to do that. If there's one where I doesn't have that, then I'll use that instead. Because I don't want to do that shit. Is this one of those? This one is multiple different parts or something. What's going on here? What is this? What is this? Ew. Yeah, it's doing that shit again where it's like... Why? No. No on this one, no on this one. Where's just a normal one? Unless... No, no. No. Does this also do it? This also does it as well. What the fuck? Is there seriously, like, none that don't do that? So what, am I just gonna have cables just hanging out in the back? And do this stupid daisy chaining bullshit? Like, what, what do you even use this for? It just hangs there, right? Is that it? Is that all it does? <sighs> okay. Alright. Alright, computer chan. You're killing me here. Oh, great, this is stuck up in my chair now. There we go. I should just take this off. gonna take this off for now. Okay. I, I don't even know what to do with this, so I guess I'm plugging this in, and then I will just... This is just loose in here. Still. Does this not go in there? I 
won't force it in if it doesn't want to go in, but... This does not go in there. <laughs> Fuck. What do I... I know I didn't get a cable there, right? No. As far as I'm aware, I don't think... What the kind of cable... some research. Let's do research. Uh, Next, we have another graphics card which has a graphics pin. Now, oh, no. sometimes the pin is f uh, placed in this way, sometimes uh -huh. it's placed in reverse. Yes. You would know if you look at the clip, of course, of and course. here, we only need this clip here, so that you're just going to see the orientation and plug it in. So make sure the card is inserted into the no, motherboard, well, and now dude, plugging it in. Dude, and then, what about the, the daisy the chain that's hanging an out right there? What about that daisy chain that's just hanging properly out? And it's activated or not. So how to remove it? Just press this one and pull it back. Yeah, I, I know Wiggle how it, to pull it back, remove it's it. Done. So we have the six pin, and next we are going to look at the single eight pin. So a single eight pin, you as I told you, this is mounted reverse. So the connector should be placed in this way. It's always best to install the ground first. And if you look, it will only go in one particular way. And it's better to, you need to push it in. Uh, it's supposed to go here. And then insert this clip. And you... What the fuck? Yeah, those are stupid. God, I hate that I have to use that. Okay, whatever. That's what I'm gonna have to use. It's not this. It's one of these. Or what? Do I just have that specific one, or do I? What the fuck? Here, right here, right here. Right? No, it's just the same shit. It's all just the same shit. Dude. This is epic. This is so cool. Look at that. Wow. Now that's a PC. Now that's a PC connector right there. I tell you what. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just want this hanging out on my PC after I connect it. What a load of shit. Watch this work. Let's see. Wow, it works. Watch this, like, shitty fucking piece of... Look at this. Look at this. It's just hanging there. I can't use this. Can't use this. What kind of bullshit is this, honestly? What kind of fucking bullshit is this? They just don't want you using this. Yeah, they don't want you using that because look at it. It's thinner, it's smaller. Okay, so I'm gonna take out all the ones that are basically just that. I will untangle them too. Or unwrap them. I'll just 
here. Let's see which one's a which. Maybe there's a chance that we'll find one that doesn't do that. Nope. Why the fuck do they do this? Why? Why do they do this? It literally makes no sense. It, it's so fucking stupid. It's so fucking stupid. This one wouldn't work either. There's another one. Wrap it, and as you can see, voila, it's the same shit. Oh, you fucks, you fucking dicks. Oh, and I hate you. Oh, how do I hate you so? What's even funnier is that this is dirty as hell. Unless that's just part of the design. I haven't even used this. This is new. <sighs> okay. I think my current PC has something similar to it, somewhat. No, it doesn't. It actually has a different cable to it. It's just, uh... I don't even know what this is for. <sighs> well, I guess whatever. It's just gonna look fucking stupid. Uh, for it's, the rest of its life, it's just gonna look really dumb. It only goes in one way. It only goes in one way. Should go right in. Now it will hang out, be a complete burden for the rest of your fucking life. This stupid fucking cable exists just to piss you off. Actually, hold on. Hold on just one second. Half of this is connected, needs to be connected to something. What, what do I connect it to? If, if that's what it has to be, it has to get connected to something, right? up dude what the fuck okay i don't know what to do with this i don't know um this isn't really helpful um so i just have a bunch of these cables and none of them connect to the unless for some reason in here somehow there is a connector to the power supply there isn't. There's no cables to that. Just empty. Okay. So I don't know how I can plug in the graphics card. Um. Let's see, what does the internet have to say? There's just a video?
This video doesn't help. Right. And next we have another graphics card which requires a no. six pin. No. No. So this video is not good. This video doesn't help me. No, that doesn't help me. <sighs> Little six and two pin PCI connectors kind of goes into here. Well, I'm sorry to tell you this, but half of this stupid fucking connector goes to an end that doesn't go to anything. So what are you talking about? Uh, it's just supposed to hang out there and the rest of this is just completely pointless and doesn't actually work? What do you mean? Does this plug into somewhere else? That's the that's the only thing I can think of. That this these plug into something else. But I don't know what. On the motherboard. What does it plug into something else on the motherboard? Or does it just hang out and do nothing? What? Those are fans. USB. Shit. Okay. Maybe it connects to the CPU somehow. Is that what it is? Does it connect to the CPU? Doesn't look like it. No. That only does. Okay, so that's not correct. That's not correct either. Maybe, maybe... Spectrum Business is the no-nonsense way for you. Oh my god. Okay. And welcome to Utopia. We're live on different no. cables to the ground. Okay. So. Maybe there's a thing on here. Is this it? No. This is a graphics card. User guide. Okay. Maybe the graphics card user guide will have something. Let's see. Okay. Hey, um, MSI. There's only one. Not two. Thanks. 
and then there's uh, every other language possible that's not my language. There we go. Package, please consult your retailer if missing or damaged. UCI Express com compliant motherboard with one dual width, 16 times graphics slot. screwdriver <laughs> guess I'll try to find the power supply information mm. this is the manual okay it's page five. So, it's, um, okay. So it has a ATX cable, four of those PCIe 6 plus 2 pins, SATA cable, SATA cable, peripheral cable, floppy adapter. Okay, so the 8 pin 6 plus 2 cable is the only thing that I can use. So, yes, these that they give you four of is what you need to use. I don't know what you use this other one for, because I don't have a graphics card that that does anything with. So, my concern is that this second portion of it that I, I won't even get to use, do anything with, it's just not gonna... I don't know, because they give you four of them. Okay, so this switch gives you a choice of single or multiple of these. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Thanks. I'm hungry. I barely- I ate, like, a pizza. Like, a slice of pizza. Or lunch. Or, well, breakfast, I guess, technically, no. I guess it's just gonna hang out here and exist because there's no other spot for it on this graphics card. There's nothing else here. So that's just what's what it's gonna be. So I can plug it in right here. Okay. All right, I think that's everything, except for this, which is the actual power supply. All right, 
like so. Um, next is plugging in the actual power supply. Which, yeah, and then there's also the CPU thing, but I'll worry about that in a minute. Okay. I guess I should move this over to here. Well, it kind of needs to be over here, so I need to do this. What I need to do is pick all these up, put them over here, and then clean this up. Because we're about to do something crazy. And then basically just rotate this around, I guess. I do need to plug in the CPU fans, or though. So that will be a thing that I will do. Just, just hang out. Wires, I don't know. Just like exist or something. A good spot. I'll do this. They want you to. They want you to put it in like this. Yeah. I think. Hold on. I literally can't tell. I think this is correct. Normally it's just supposed to slot in. Okay. It made the clip sound, so... I think that's in. Oh my god. Okay. Now for the radiator fans. I guess I'll just put this... I don't know. Somewhere where it will let the water travel to and from. Uh, like this? No. I don't fucking know. This needs to be somewhere. I'll worry about that in a second. Okay. I need to. Let me, uh, let me go BRB. I'm gonna clean a little bit of this up, and then we will set up the monitor and the, um, set up the monitor and, uh, keyboard, and then see if this runs. I don't know.
cleaned a decent amount of it off, um, I realized that I probably need to take off an HDMI cord of some kind. now this should work and I need to get the I know I have like a shitty keyboard so I'm gonna put that This is the monitor. I need to take this out. I need to take this out. I want to turn my mic. I want to turn my microphone on, but the fucking dog. Smooth gameplay. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's on 65 hertz, but I didn't want to go like 2K or um 4K. I just wanted to do 1080p because that's it looks really good enough. So. Seriously, tape all along the top. This is so interesting. It's not tight and shit. 
what's going on. Is this like a hold back kind of thing? Awesome. So I forgot to take off this plastic that the GPU is connected to. So I need to take this off for a second. And uh, I need to take this off. Me being a smart uh, did not take that off. Off. I think pretty much this one's still on. At all. Okay. Probably plug the GPU back in. But I think I touched the pins, but I think it's fine. Okay, 
there's a click. That's good. That means that it's in. It's in. Okay. Chat. Okay. Uh, I don't know if this will work. That's the point. So, anyways. goes into the HDMI part. You see. Also, is there like no, there's no plastic on this, is there? Alright, so that's in. Just set this down. scissors hanging out. That's better. We can actually see the screen. We protect your house and your car because we know it is and I need to plug in the did not want this. This, and then I need to plug in the CPU fans. This is gonna take a couple hours. For now, CPU fans. Let's figure out where they're gonna go. Consult. Ah! Lay manual. And once I do, I'm gonna actually move the keyboard to here. I'm just kind of like for a minute. Wow, this is a big monitor. Wow, that is big. Nice, bigger than the one that I use right now. Wow. Huh. Um. Okay. Uh, where is that? Right here. Where does the CPU fans go. CPU installation. What about the fans? Is there just a specific one, or is that not worry? I don't have to worry about that. I guess I won't worry about that for now. CPU storage. I may need to do a BIOS update first, so we'll probably look into that if it does not turn on immediately. We'll try that first. We proceed. CPU socket. Okay, so number four are the fan and pump headers. So that's where all that stuff goes. So pump would be the last one. So bring this is facing here. The last one is the pump. One of these is the pump. It's sitting on it. One of these is the pump. So do one of these. Not really, not really mentioned. So I need to find the the RGB 
the manual for this one. Is this the manual for? Yeah. Let me see. Connect power and fans to pump. Okay. Connect pump. Uh, power cable available. SATA power plug. Figure one. Okay. Connect pump cable to the CPU fan, which is it says here. What about the pump? Okay, it connects the pump. Okay. So what does it look like? So we have this, which is, I guess, this is the SATA power. There are some connectors on the pump that I didn't see. I don't see it, so I don't know about that. I like how there's already a scuff mark on this. Kinda. Yeah, there's no whatever you call it. So these things right here need to be plugged into the fans, right? Is that how that works? Is that what they're saying? These need to be plugged in. This, right? This would be fan one. And this would be fan two, right? So these plug into that. Ah, shit. Okay. Make sure I don't break anything. Okay. So those are connected. The fans themselves are connected. Also, I need to do this again. Hold on. Just unplug it. Got some issues. I need to wrap it this way, not to lift it up. Okay. So yeah, this goes. Ah, shit! Stop doing that. This goes like that, and this goes like that. Okay. That's in, and then we still have this. So the fans are connected, but these need to be connected to something, right? I don't know. I guess this would plug into, this is the power, the SATA power. Or is it mentioned SATA power? So CPU fan, there's only one because that's all it needs. So that makes sense. So that would go into probably the first one, right? This one right here. I guess this one would go right into here. Either that or it goes into this one, the actual pump. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on. So there's CPU fan 4. This mentions connect power to fans and pump. So connect pump power cable to an available SATA power plug, figure 1. Pin and use that thing. So I need to find a SATA power. A SATA power plug. That's even on here. Um. What's safe food? Hmm. Yeah, I don't see whatever they're talking about. Where's the SATA? Next, the pump tack. I guess is that thing. 
Is there like a, uh, on the, on the actual table of contents? Let me check. Ah, G. Okay, so G is the Corsair. Wait, what? IQ USB cable. So that also needs to be plugged in. Which would go around. I'm gonna go all the way to one of the headers. The USB headers? Really? Okay. But which one? Dude, okay. What is the power? Where is the power saddle? Anyways, I think this would go in here, but I think that would go in the pump one, the AIO pump, not the CPU fan, like they were saying, because it's a three pin and those ones are, oh shit, wait, sorry, those ones are four pin and this is a three pin, so this has to go somewhere else. Let's go. This is a three pin. What? Connect each fan to the shortcut. I've already done that. Connect pump tack to the CPU fan header on your motherboard figure one. So it's a CPU fan header. There's channel CPU fan. Add gen, no. CPU fan, W pump. What is five? Is the liquid cooling system headers. Is that where it goes? Or it'd be down here. Um, ow. I think those got bent. No, they didn't. They're fine. For now. Just don't let that rubbing... Don't let that rub against the fucking pens. Why is this just like... It's just literally just like hanging loose in here. It's kind of dumb. Okay, so... I think it's down... It's down here. There's a, all the way at the bottom, there's a W flow. Um, w pump. Phantom pump headers. Would that actually go there? It's pretty far away from the from the, from the thing, but I maybe it goes there, I guess. I don't know where else it would go. I mean, it it gets pulled onto it, so I don't know if that's if that's where it goes. This is this is dumb. What are those things down there? The, the expansion slot. It's not what I'm looking at. I don't know what I'm looking at. It's 
right under the heat sink. I guess that is a an expansion slot. Never mind. That's better. Um uh I think those are these are uh for hard drives. They're not for anything else. I I just don't know what this goes to. Why does this go? Hmm. No way it does. SATA power. Okay. Connect pump to USB header. That's the last set part of it. But what the fuck? Eight? SATA power. Maybe it goes in there. The very end. Let's see? Well, no, it wouldn't go here because these are a bunch of pens. And this does not have any pens. It's just like a you slot it in kind of thing. Um. I might have to watch a tutorial online for this one. Um, let's see. Hmm, what? Okay. Um, okay, so it's called SATA Power Cable. this video? Oh my god, I love ads. Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Corsair H100i RGB uh -huh. Pro XT, and a yep. little bit more hands with some other standard. I'm going to show you yeah, that was a bit more complicated, but obviously I added and UV on the path of RGB light flow and Intel. But I'm also going to cover LG to find out all, all cooler and see if they all in to the end. So I just need to get this guy. They were awesome. For you. The one is in but you need to up the little trip as well. The different cable too. Okay, well, look, they connect up to the, the AI oh, yeah. that are. So you can see there's a flat one that's for SATA power. There's two other breakout cables that are for the fan power. 
and then there's another cable that connects up to the AIO pump head or CPU fan head on your motherboard. AIO pump header or CPU header. What? Well, we have the AIO pump, but it's four pin. So is that okay? Because it's a, it's a three pin. There's not a lot of three pins in here other than the W flow, which is five. Pulling system headers. I guess that's where it would go, huh? Right there and there. But the SATA power wouldn't go there. The only thing that could even go there would be that W flow cable. This one. Because this is a three pin. And I'll show you where later on. These okay. two are particularly interesting because they come out from the pump head and they connect up to the fans. So it means you can connect two fans yep, to this controller, but not only the pump, but also the fans. Makes yep. life a lot simpler. You don't need to worry about any where to plug yep. those in because normally they'd plug into like a Command Pro if you had a fancier separate board in the case and suss out the SEP case. Yep. So yep. work, they're a bit more difficult to achieve. Yep. There's nothing wrong with the back of the yep. mother radiator. Yep. You could do it on the yep. through the front. Yep. You will find a number of people telling you you can't set it up that way with the tubes at the top. That is actually incorrect. It for having the pump head above the radiator at the top point. So you don't want the pump at the highest point because that can result in long-term problems. Now, in terms of mounting the fans, this is going to depend on your setup mm -hmm. in your case. But basically, fans are designed so that air is that yep, I know. Cables okay. Pay, but Ask gun metal of the others, but then you so you don't need this separate bracket. And I actually took this because it's a slightly different problem. I don't secure product mission off screw it. This print you will also notice that you need for the LGA 1200. So, again, the process is basically the same. It's back out from there. Okay. This in to show you that things is the things are showing you the process for doing this outside of the kit that we marked here earlier on. That plugs into the bottom of the motherboard, and you can see them two marked here, USB, and you'll see that you can only plug it in one way, so it's impossible to plug this in incorrectly. I'm showing you the process for doing this outside of the... Okay, wait, hold on. Hold marked on, hold here, on, hold on, USB, hold on. and hold you'll on. see that you can only plug it in one way, so it's impossible to plug this in. Okay, he doesn't even bother to show it, but that's okay. Um, that's 23. System pin header. Uh, so I guess it can only go in one of the USBs. Okay. So there's a cable that this came with. I'd have to find it now. But it's for the fringe RGB lighting that you don't necessarily need. Really but for the RGB. Find it. Don't remember where I put it. I think it's over here, right? No. Where did I put that? Where did I put all those? Oh. Okay. Oops. Is it? Yeah, this is it. This is it. Okay. So you basically, like, move the cables or whatever. And line it up or something. There's a, is there a thing right over here? Sides. This is it right here. There. So I can actually angle it better. it I literally can't tell I think it is but I don't know how to put it in but maybe it goes this way yes okay well that makes things a little bit weirder because uh, this comes out can only go into one of 
USB slots, I guess. But I don't know which one it goes in. I guess it would go in some um, of those. So it's an empty one in one of them. So would it go this way? Make sure to not push it in. Just goes in when it goes in, you know? I think that's going in. I think that went in. I think that's in. I think that's in. Okay. I'm going to assume that that is in, and we're good on the USB header, but I still have those two other plugs. What, what do I do with that? Correctly. I'm showing you the process for doing this outside of the case because it's a bit easier to show you where those things are. Obviously, you'd actually do it once it's fully installed in the case. So that is the standard setup on a variety of motherboard sockets, yeah. and hopefully that made things in it as well be installed. They end up wanted to, tap, but you can push and quickly tap out this all in one cooler control. To do is plug that in directly to the power. So that's the flat connector on the left now, and so what we need to do is plug that in directly to the power supply unit. Here I'm using the. Oh. Wait that. No, that's impossible. What? Oh, wait. Never mind. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where is it? This one. Wait. Okay, wait. Hold on. Is that correct? Is it like this? This way? Or is it the other way? I think it's the other way. It's the other way. Um, no, that's right. Because it wouldn't be able to go in otherwise. Right? Yes. Okay. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Hmm? What? No, they can't do this to me, right? They just have like all these cables? No, 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 no. Don't tell me. That's all they have for these ones. Oh my god. Wait, this one. This is a three pin, right? No, it's four. Never mind. <sighs> okay. All right. Uh, I guess that's just gonna have to hang out there. Cause the yeah, no, that's that's right. It's just um, I have like all these like cables. <sighs> Of course, the HX850, which is a bit older, I'm reusing some of my parts. I've done videos recently on the RM850. If you're interested and want to find out more about the setup of the power They're supply unit, but essentially mine, so. we need one of these cables that has a daisy chainable flat connector that plugs into the peripheral and SATA power connector on your power supply unit. You're essentially plugging that in there, and just to demonstrate what we do so then you basically need to make sure once you finish the setup process that you use this flat power connector and connect that up to the power supply unit it obviously gives power both to the pump and also to the fans so it's essential that you plug it in so that the the okay. liquid will flow around inside the pump but also the fans will spin in order to cool it all down 
So there we have majority of the steps set up for that. Now, obviously, the installation process. So that's correct. So this goes into here. But I want to make sure that I grab the one that's like the furthest away, I guess. I, I honestly don't know. I probably should just do this one, the one that's the closest to it. Actually, no. Because I need the I need the the um, the length, so I can actually move the cable. Wait. No, wait. Hold on. Yeah, it is a daisy chain. Crap. Okay. Well, where does the the fucking thing go? So I mean, in this yeah. case, you can fit... Not here, yeah. Okay, let me just... Plug this in. Over here. Where it goes. Okay. So that's all plugged up and everything. Now. But you still have this part that needs to be plugged in. And I don't know where it goes. A 240 mil rad on the top. I could fit for the best. I was a bit silly. Deal going about seek things. Can't realize. Obviously, obviously, I'm cheap. I just think your set in a way a bit. 2060 back plate. <sighs> okay. Icon of the seas arriving 2024. Invention is an act of determination. Go where you couldn't before. The all-new Pilot Trail Sport, part of the Honda line of rugged vehicles. This is extreme edition CPU, and you'll notice that it has quite a big surround on it already. And here you can see the standoffs mm -hmm. for that. So they are shorter on one side and longer on the other. And you'll notice those in the manual from earlier on. I did demonstrate what they look like. And there's a close-up look at them and the installate up of seat at the top of the uh, case. See, okay. Now for this process, you all your position. I shouldn't back need it. Uh, this is just one installing one the actual thing. Up at the top set already. Other things, screws, and then a little bit of fiddle pump head. You might well have cables at the rear now, and I have that fan so I can connect everything up there. And then I have the flat SATA power cable, which I'm going to run from the bottom of the case from the power supply unit up through the channeling and then plug in there. So now we have all of that connected up, and that's most of it. But don't forget, we also need to run the USB cable around you looking at it, and to the bottom. Don't forget to be down there. Now it's just a case of making and then turning it on, booting, and have control. What the f don't no, forget, where's the fucking... We also need to run oh. the USB. have all of the case from the power supply there. The pump, fan, breakout cables. We have the fan in. But you can see that I've ended up with the cables at the <sighs> rear now. And I have the fan cables and yep. the pump fan breakout cables at the rear as well. So I can connect everything up there. And then I have the flat SATA power cable, which I'm going to run from the bottom of the case from the power supply unit up through the channeling and then plug in there. So now we have all of that connected up. What is that anyways again? I know it's called the three pin pump, right? I okay, got that. Connect pump. Attach cable to CPU fan. Header on your motherboard. Figure one. So it's called the. ST. Um. Attach. Cable. That like last cable that's connected. Um, so 
What does that go to? I'm pretty sure the manual says it is an ether connector. What's the fan header connector? Long extension. Hold on. Okay. So, can I still plug the three pin header into that? Yes. So the fourth pin is for voltage control, but that's done by a software. Okay, so if that's all correct, then that means the cable, the CPU fan, there's the AIO pump itself, RGB header. They said there's a CPU fan header, but I don't see that on here. Where is the CPU fan header? Unless the CPU fan things, the number four, where it says the fan and pump headers. So just plug it into one of those, I guess, instead of the actual pump part. Because there's a pump header, but it says to put it into the CPU fan header. So this is, this is not for the pump. This is connect pump catch cable to the CPU fan header on your motherboard. It's a shame that it's not a 3-pin and it's a 4-pin. Connect each fan to the shrouded port, yeah. Um, okay. They show that it's a 3-pin, but all these are 4-pins, and they say that that's fine. At least that's what Reddit says, and, you know, Reddit's never wrong, so... There's a W flow, but that's that's the only three pin that I can see here. Okay. All right, I guess I'll just do that then and see it. Hopefully, it works out. I don't. It doesn't get angry at me. That fourth one. So pretty much just do it like this. Let's see in here it says the light source, but it got it. Hold on. I need a light. Go. Like that. Okay. And we'll just kind of leave that how it is for now. And then I need to I need to like close all these tabs. Okay. All right. Um, I need to find something to hold the CPU fans for now. I guess. Um. Let me ask me that. So. Well, I do a pre-build test. Build test. Let's see. I 
guess if I if I wanted to, it would probably be the best if I installed it into the case at some point, maybe. Well, not, it's just telling me mounting orientation, but it's not really what I'm looking at. So. So, I guess I could do it like, I guess you should do it like this, you know, where it's like up here, but I need to like, I'd have to hold it, which is not what I want to do. I guess I could do it like this. If I do it like that, then the pumps are gonna still go out. So I think that might work. If I just do it like this. Okay. I think everything is in. <laughs> uh, let me move this over somewhere. Just somewhere. Okay, you know what? It can probably stay here. I don't know. Okay. It can just stay right there. That's fine. It's, it's okay. Okay. Alright. So, I need to read about that start button. 22. Which is start button 124. Press the button to power up the system, or put the system into sleep or soft mode. Once it lights up, when the system is plugged to the power source, indicating that you should shut down the system and unplug the power by removing and uninstalling the other components. And then there is a couple other things, like number 23, which is the system panel header, but I guess that button, number 18, is the reset button. And then number 20 is the safe boot button, which is 23. So what is the safe boot button? Temporarily apply safe settings to the BIOS while retaining the overclock settings, allowing you to modify the settings, causing a boot failure. Press this button at any time to force the system to reboot into the BIOS safe. Okay, so I don't need to do that. Overclocking settings. Okay, so I don't need those. I think I can just do the start button. That's just sitting right there. Um, but now I need to plug it in. So stupid. Okay. Does anything turn on? Oh, wasn't plugged in all the way. Hold on. Hold on. It's shut off. Wait, is it? Wait, what? Hold on. So that's off. Okay. So, this is on. Okay. I need the keyboard. Okay. Alright. Okay, okay. I'm down. It's just a computer, you know? It's just a computer. 
You don't need to think like, oh no, it's gonna blow up or anything. It's fine. Just here. I'll even I'll do it like no, not like that. I'll just do it like this. I'll do it like this. Okay. Okay. It's on. Let me hit the start button. Okay. Does it turn on? That's the question. I guess it does. I don't know. Where's the, where's the start button on this? Oh god. Where's the, where's the button on this thing? I don't. Oh, I know why. It says sixty-four ninety-eight. Well, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna turn it off. But as you saw, everything was running. <laughs> but uh, I forgot. I need to actually plug in the, uh, the monitor. needs to stop the power anyway, so that can be turned off. Plug in the monitor with the chip, and it's just far enough. I need it to be closer. A lot closer, actually. Okay. I need to move everything slightly over. Like this. Okay. Stop rubbing up against things. Okay. Oh, fuck. Sounds bad. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Alright. How do I turn this on? Does it just turn on? No, it has to be. It has to be. What the fuck? Is there no power button on this? There's no power button. There's none. As far as I can tell. Unless... Oh, wait. There's a uh, no power button on this. That's that's a little dumb. It's a little stupid. 
Yeah, there's none. There's no buttons. So if it turns on, then it turns on. That's... I don't know. This should be fine. If I hit the start button. There's no, like, light or anything on this. That's just funny. That's, that's just funny. This stupid piece of shit. Doesn't even have like a power button. How do you even know it's on? Found it. Found it. <sighs> no signal. Which button is it? <laughs> How do you... Hold on. Because I can, I can do this with that, this turned off. So, power, that, this, this. Let's see. Yeah, okay. No, that's the, that was the power button. Or no, it wasn't. There you go. How do you select it? You just let it sit there and it selects it? Cause I think I'm on HDMI one. I don't know. Did I did I select it or no? Yes, it should be on there. Okay, so I'm gonna start this. I'm gonna hit this and see if something comes up. I don't know if it's F12. I don't know which one it is. Um. Guess we'll try. Oh, there we go. 
new detected wait we detected a new processor which will change this the data structure of storage space on the firmware um press y to Press Y to continue, otherwise, please follow the instructions below. Press Y to reset the TFM. BitLocker encryption enabled. The system will not boot without the recovery key. Let me restart it first, and we'll see what we get. So I'm going to reset, completely shut it all down, right? And then I'm going to turn it on. We'll see what we get. That's kind of dumb. Alright, which button is it to start it? Unless that's the first thing that pops up. There we go. Okay. So, continue, the, uh, continue system boot. Will not enable the new processor. You can swap back to the old processor to recover the... Wait. Press in the keep previous T... Wait, FTPM record and continue the system. I guess press Y. Reset it. Let's see what happens. There we go. Hit F2. Well, it just kind of popped away immediately. Thought I hit it, but okay. Here we go. Hit F2. Huh? The best you could have done on PC. New CPU installed. Press F1 to, to uh, set up. Huh. There's an ad. Okay, hold on. Alright. So there's a new CPU. Press F1 to set it up. CPU fan error. Those are on. There we go. Okay. Um. Okay. Monitor. So CPU temperature. Tool. Graphics card information. Exit. So we have all these things here. I think it's Fast boot is on, but I don't know if that's necessary. So DRAM voltage main. So there's some stuff going on here. Uh, it says it's the 30th, so that's all correct. Um, BIOS information. So let's see. So it detected the the Ryzen, so that's good. The CPU speed is all normal. Total memory. 65 yeah okay all right system time that's all correct extreme tweaker we don't want to mess with that advanced trust computing cpu configuration let's go to monitor let's see so right now it knows notices the fans cpu core voltage all right Q fan configuration. I just want to see. So the temperatures. So it shows the temperatures right now. So that's good. I think we need to go to easy mode, which I think is on the bottom, but I don't even know if I can select that. Um, here, hotkeys. I don't know. I don't know the hotkeys, but okay. So I think everything's okay. I think. I might have needed to connect a mouse. I can do that. I have like this shit mouse right here. It's not a fire hazard or anything. Okay. Probably not a fire hazard. Let me plug in a controller, or controller, uh, mouse. Ah. Right. 
That should give me mouse control. There we go. Easy mode. I think easy mode. Yeah, easy mode gives you all the information that I'm, I'm looking for. So, fans are pulling air, so that's good. It says currently the motherboard temperature is at 31 degrees Celsius. It does it does recognize the SSD. Um, it recognizes all of the RAM, and um, there is no. Um, I'm not going to be adding the hard drive just yet. That's going to be after we I install everything. So right now it's it's going up. I need to look up the average good temp. Um, let's see, good temp for CPU idle. Um, stay at or under around 40 degrees Celsius, so roughly uh, 20 degrees above ambient temperature. So right now, it's good. If I push this down, I don't think it should change anything, because that's on there pretty well. So it notices the fans. DOCP, I'm not going to mess with any of that right now, no overclocking stuff or anything. Voltage is fine. Um, everything just looks like it's it's doing what it should do at the moment, um, which is good. So yeah, that it's very that's very good. It actually recognizes everything. The BIOS version is old, so I'm gonna need to change the BIOS. It does recognize it, but I do need to change the this the BIOS so it actually has more support for my CPU. <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna do that. So so far, pretty good. But wow, what a mess. <laughs> um, it says ninety eight, which I guess is fine. I don't know. What does ninety eight mean? Let's look at that. Um, <clears throat> twenty six, which is. Q code LED that's 128 and then 129. Let's look into that. That's a little bit much. 20, 29 and 28. So QID provides a two digit error code that displays in the system. Okay. QIDs, so let's see, QIDs most responsible. So DRAM is yellow. What color is that? DRAM is yellow, so QADs check uh, key components, the CPU, DRAM, VGA, and booting devices during the motherboard booting process. If an error is found, the critical components LED stays lit up until the problem is solved. So this one says, so it has the DRAM, or it's boot yellow, which is a yellow green. Oh, that's a yellow green. Never mind. So everything's fine. Um, QID provides the most probable cause of an error code right now it's it's st starting to pick up it's at 33 now um eight pin plug okay so please refer to the q code table in the appendix section for this detail where is the appendix q code appendix section let's see <clears throat> that does not help. That's not the table of contents. None of this is the table of contents. Where's the table of contents? Did I already pass it? I passed it already. That's why. Here. Table is A1, so it's an appendix. So it's going to be at the back. Um, let me see. Appendix. 6. A4. And A1. Or no, that's A2. So it's actually... It says it is a... 98 which is console input devices connected that's all that means <laughs> okay console input devices connected is that a good thing the air basically points 
to an input device such as a keyboard or mouse, or any device connected to the board failing to be initialized. Um, other key components for the board um, give that. So it, it's just basically just mentioning. So we wanted to say, oh my god, I just missed the page. Not used, powered on. So is that a good thing? I mean, that's not the worst thing to have popped up. So it just doesn't detect the keyboard. <laughs> okay, I, I think that's not going to be an issue for now. I'm not even going to worry about that. That's If it says 98 and it's involve, it involves the keyboard, then that's fine. Um, 33, so pretty much it's it's... It's decent, it's normal temperatures, so that means that the thing is running just fine. Uh, so I'm going to save and exit. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and um, shut down the computer. So. It's good news. Nice. It looks like a complete mess, but it's all good. So, pretty much, that's that's pretty much it, technically. Once I get the, I just need to put in the, um, put it in the case, and that's going to be the main portion, is getting it into the case. So it seems like it's fine. Oh, actually, wait, shit. I forgot we need to do the um the BIOS update. I forgot about that. Shit, hold on. We need to do a BIOS update. Hold on. I don't where is BIOS update? Knowing BIOS, so chapter three. BIOS. BIOS update utility. Please ensure that to install the CB. Yeah, okay. Allows you to easily update BIOS without entering any existing BIOS operating system. Simply insert the USB storage device into the USB port, USB port hole marked on the IO shield, and press the BIOS flashback button for three seconds to automatically update the BIOS. Please refer to the illustrations below. Okay, let's do that real quick. I'm gonna check and see if it's the same, um, if it actually changed or not. So I need to actually turn it on, first of all. information refer to updating BIOS and okay. 
Windows, easy update. I can take it out. I think once it's once it stops glowing, I think I can take it out. I can just move this for now. That's it. Uh, CPU fan error, F1, and then it just doesn't do it. Uh, that even updated, um, doesn't look like it. Does not look like it, it, it got updated. Uh, no, BIOS version did not get updated. Save and exit. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Let me, because there's literally no one. Easy update is a utility that allows you. Needs an internet connection. We're not doing that. It said in chapter 3 there was going to be a mention of the thing, but there's no mentions of it. So this one requires you to enter bio setup to recover. I'm so confused. Yeah, there was there was like some information about it on one twenty like nine or something, right? No. I don't know. So I guess I'm just gonna look it up on uh YouTube. Let's see. Okay. Um. Here we go. Here's a funny video made by them. Thanks, Asus support. How to use USB BIOS flashback. BIOS flashback allows you to update the BIOS without entering the existing BIOS or operating system. Please go to ASUS official website and search for your model. Got then it. check the specification if your motherboard has BIOS flashback button. It does. Step 1. Prepare a USB device. Did that. Prepare a USB storage that capacity is more than 1 GB. Okay. Format your USB driver to FAT32. Step 2. Download BIOS. Did that. Visit ASUS Support Center to download the latest BIOS version for your motherboard. Did that. Oops. Step 3. BIOS file preparation. Okay. Unzip the file. Okay. Launch the BIOS renamer.x application to automatically rename the cap oh. file. Did that? Then copy the cap file to your USB storage device. Okay, did that. 
Step 4. Update BIOS. Okay. Shut down the computer. Insert the USB into USB flashback port. Okay. Do that. Press the BIOS flashback button for 3 seconds until the BIOS flashback LED starts blinking, indicating that the BIOS flashback function is enabled. Do not unplug the power, turn on the computer, remove the USB device or press the clear CMOS button while updating the BIOS. Wait until the light goes out, BIOS updating process is completed. Okay. Welcome to subscribe to our ASUS support. Welcome to subscribe to our what? Good. Good. Yep. So I guess since what I did was I unplugged it after. Turn it on. Do this again. Ow. Plug this in. Hold it down. let it do its thing. And wait until I guess it stops on. I guess it's going to take a hot minute or something. <sighs> ah. Well, um, what time is it? Oh my god. Let me check on it. Still on. So I guess take it out. And then what? I might just have to do a BIOS update a different way. Because I don't think it works. Either that or I need to reinstall the update again. And then do the same thing that I did before again. Uh, I don't know. CPU fan, whatever. That's fine. Okay, that's off. Okay, well, it won't do it. So I guess I'll just deal with the BIOS being the not right version because I literally it literally won't even do it. So I'm going to have to do it the other way unless I need to boot from the USB. I, I don't know. It's not really clear to me, to be honest. It's not. So I guess I will... I'm going to have to take everything apart again. Well, not everything, but a lot of it off, you know, apart, whatnot. Okay. Let 
Yeah, I'm going to have to take everything out. Once I flip that switch, which I did, everything should turn off. I, I flipped the switch. You can turn off now. Still getting power. There we go. Now it's off. Oh man. Unplug it entirely and um, start taking things out. First of all, I need to un unplug the monitor. There we go. Monitor's unplugged. I think I need to unplug most of the cables that are on the actual thing. Pretty much I just need to unplug these again, I think. I don't know which ones I should leave in. They're all kind of annoying. Now that I have the right plugs, it shouldn't be really much of an issue. Let's unplug the supply. Take them off. There we go. That's good. I think it was able to detect. I, didn't, I couldn't tell. It could detect the GPU or not, but I'm going to worry about that. Let's plug this now. That's going to just hang out. Actually, yeah, just keep that in there for now. And as for the fan, unplug the fan for now. Actually, that could probably stay plugged in as well. It's and stuff like that. So, pretty much the power supply is removed. And this needs to be set off, set aside. Uh, next is uh the case. Uh and I guess maybe the hard drive after the fact, but I'm not gonna worry about the hard drive till afterwards. Get a lot of this out of the way. Uh probably even the this would will need to be moved too. Uh, 
actually have to put it on the ground, honestly. Here. And then the actual box for this for the thing. Okay. Now this is something else I won't tell you what. Oh, this has been turned off. Sorry. There we go. Okay. So we actually have the case itself, which is a generic Corsair 4000D airflow. Very fun. I know. most of it, but there's still they're like really I mean they really went at it with the tape on this okay uh, this can go ah cheese. I can even get it out. Okay, hold on. Oh. Yeah. No. Um, is there any way to like take this out easily? Can I like grab the plastic and pull it out? Yeah. A lot easier. Alright. Uh, yeah. Okay. Get out. Get out. Get out. There we go. Literally a pamphlet. Yes. Okay. So. Oh. They give it to me sideways. Can't tell. Yes, they did. Ow. Yeah, they gave it to me sideways. Here's the case. It's a lot. It's nicely smaller. Oh, and this comes off too. This is magnetic. Okay, that's good. I think it is. I can't tell. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. Wow. There she is, huh? <laughs> This has a little flap here. It's like a filter. And you can just plop it on. It stays on there. The reset button. Hmm. This is the 
inside. Here's these. The um, fan it comes with, which I don't need right now. We're going to take the cover, the glass off. Those should stay on there. That should be able to come off. I don't think it's it's held on by anything else, really. Those should come off, but I guess doesn't want to, I guess. Okay. So I'm going to place my body against it just in case. I don't know how else it comes off. Well. How does this come off? I don't know how this comes off. Ah. Uh. Like Is this like the whole thing? This what it is? What it is? Is this like magnetic or what? I don't. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's not fuck with it. Hold on. Okay. Link, yep, that's fine. Those are all the different little pieces that are in there. A is the tempered glass, so that comes out completely. So interchangeable sides, so that's cool. I like that. I'm probably gonna make it so this side is the glass, not this side. So then I can actually see it and it also will prevent sun from beaming down on it. So that that should be good. So removing side panels, you unscrew it and then it should uh, latch open. What about the... Sure. It should just pop open, but... Oh wait, this isn't out all the way, that's why. These aren't out all the way. Or is it just one? What? Does it come out? Ever? I don't know. What the fuck? How do you take this off? <laughs> okay. You're not being helpful right now. That's just to take off that. What about the glass? How do you take the glass off? Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's not going to be helpful. Apparently there's normally like a latch or something, but the glass itself doesn't come out. So. I need a spot for these, honestly. I need this container. Again. But I'll put it like right here. There's an ad. Okay. Put it right there for now. Let me do the same for this one. They're supposed to stay in. Um, they're not supposed to come out. I mean, they can come out, but you really only need to do it like that. Oh well. Whatever. doesn't necessarily need to come out, but whatever. So I can actually open this up. Just kind of here for now. Oh. That's why. Okay. I got it. We're going to move the tempered glass into here. That should be fine. That should be safe. 
Okay. So now we have full unhinged access to my uh, to my uh, this is this come out? Yes. That's gonna be helpful. Nice. Uh, so that's where the screws are. I see. So we took everything off. I'm gonna take these off real quick so they're not in here. Because they shouldn't be in here. Let's see. This in. Where is the there it is, the big one. The one that I've been using. Actually, no, I've been using the one that I'm supposed to be using. That's right. Had it. Here, so this is the one I should be using. I fucked up. Okay. Nice. lost this so yeah this is a like basic basic bitch fan look at it it's going over here we have the real fans down here but we will not worry about that for now i guess we need yeah so they're they're on this i wish i could like zoom in but are all the same pretty much get off fine I probably I did this kind of wrong but that's okay find out, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, where'd you go? Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? How'd I go? There you are. Come here. This can come off now. Just here. This is so nice. Oh my god. I'm sorry, but like, I'm like, I'm back into it, baby. The fact that everything seems to be fine on the actual computer is very cool. Cool. Very cool. I don't know if this comes off or not. Oh, uh, manual. <clears throat> so, there's a top part that comes off. So, yeah, no, um, this part does not slide off. As far as I can tell, it looks like it kind of does, but it doesn't. These are actually cables for the uh, for the buttons. From what it looks like, I need like a light. But... Joy Box is coming today. I'm downloading. Fine. I think this can come off because uh, for access for the fan, because I will be putting a third fan here. I'm putting three fans uh, back here. There's a fucking bad piece of shit. I'm gonna be putting uh, three fans here. A fan here, pretty much, and then the AIO is gonna be up here, um, and then the bottom is gonna be where the uh, the power supply goes, and then in the back is where the um, hard drive is gonna go, and it 
pretty much I'm just giving myself open availability to being able to upgrade this PC as much as I can, pretty much. Moving the cable bar, installing H, yep, moving the HDD, so you can actually move the cage, that's cool, if you need to. Installing SSDs, I don't have those types of SSDs. Installing the cards, I already know how to do all that stuff obviously. Removing the front bevel, which I've already done. And then installing the IO connectors, the motherboard accessory tray, etc. Okay, so there's all I needed to know is that this part does not come out, which means it's gonna be annoying to put in this once we get around to it. But I'm just not gonna worry about it right now. We'll worry about is uh, checking the back. So there's the cables. There's the uh, the actual whatever you call it. Room for the fan. So that's good. They already did that, so I don't have to do that. Um, cable ties for everything. I have cable ties. So that should be fine. But yeah, I need to know if this this does come off, I think, but I don't I don't know how. How does that part come off? Guide. I think it comes off. It has to, right? Either that or it flips. I need a light. Let me see. Does come off. But how? These parts connected to it? It is. So, what do you need to do for this? Little tab here from what it looks like. Ah! Okay. Thank you, flashlight that for me. I'm going to put this off right over here. So that's where it goes. So I have complete and entire just access to all this. I need to find where they put the stuff. I think it might be in here. Yeah, they put it all in here. He also provided all the cables, which they shoved through here, which is the bottom tray. So that's kind of cool. So here's all the components that go into this. Except they put it... So what, is this like a clip-on kind of tray? Is that what I'm getting out of that? What is this? Get this out of here. Get this out of here. Who wants that? There we go. Yeah, so it's like a two, it's two trays, pretty much. Which I can then put this back, I guess. Where it goes, right there. Cool. And here's all the plugs. Here's the plugs. Power reset. Um, I guess USB headers. Audio. I guess this is a power switch. I don't know what that is. I'll figure it out. But it already has like this really nice cable, managed cable right now. So that's really cool. So those are all good for now. But the other ones will be cables. Here is. What the hell is this? Okay. Give me these like Velcro straps. Is that what these are? These are Velcro straps. So they only give you a couple, like three, if you want to use those. Which is kind of nice, I guess, but I guess I wasn't expecting it. So now I need to figure out how many I need to figure out how many slots are in in this motherboard so I can connect it properly. 
Oh yeah, the I forgot I need to take out the uh, the CPU or GPU or whatever. Is that? There we go. So, that can come out for now. And I think I don't know where I put that cover. I think I put it in one of the boxes. So no cover for the pins right now. I have to find it. Ugh. Where did I put that? I can put it in here. No. Oh, there it is. It's just casually sitting on the ground, you know. up for now. There we go. And then put the I need to put the GPU side. I'll put it back in this anti-static covering. So, there's one here, that one's going to be hard to put on, two, okay, rotate it, I'm going to have to use my, just, I'm just going to have to use advanced skills, it looks like they already have standoffs put on. This already has standoffs put on. So what? If I just put this in there, it's just gonna fit perfectly, or what? Consult the consult the thing. Scroll up. Come on, thirty. Four. Take off side panels and store it somewhere safe. Install IO shield uh, if the motherboard comes with one. Does it? I guess it doesn't. So that's just gonna be hanging out. I guess. Or actually, wait. Sorry. This is where it's gonna go. I don't know. Oh, the motherboard. Sorry. Motherboard. Not. And I don't think the case came with one, so. So that should be okay, right? I think that should be fine. Okay, so. Next, we need to install it into the case and remove the cables out of the way. Find standoffs in the case. Install standoffs as per my motherboard locations. Look up. Okay, so I need to actually take this. I need to do it like this. Your legacy begins now. Hogwarts Legacy. Pre-order now. Don't know what I need in this. What is this? How many miles of I don't think I'm the weekly upgrades for this thing. Okay. Standoffs. Do I look like a PC building that uses only the little nut things? I think I need these screws. While guaranteeing an incredible gaming experience. Not those, but I think these screws. Built this. 
totally, hundred percent. Yeah, I, I do. Oh, You're welcome. So Why is there a fucking ad? You fucking piece of shit. God damn it. They like no. They know. Spyware. Okay. Uh, thumb screws. I guess that's extra. Tiny screws. I don't know if those are necessary. And then washers. I think I use... They give you a couple different ones. I'm going to test one of these on it to see if this is the right one. This wants to open, that would be great. There we go. Let me do it like this so I don't accidentally. So let me take this and see if this fits. Actually, go into that. I think because they give you a lot of them. The other one, they give you. Let's see. No, I don't. There's actually no screws. These, or well, these are screws, but they're really tiny, and I don't think I think they go to something else. I don't know. So does it need a washer, or is it just go in? So here we go. Hook up the, the 8, 12 pin cables for the CPU, aka the EPS connectors. So the, the power supply. is that you broke it through the back that CPU you need to like So it's probably easier. Better not have been a snap. Better not have just heard a snap. Um, this is kind of dumb. Just locate it like this. Grab the CP. There you go. 
cables are all in the way. Put it in, put it in, whatever, just drop it in, like that. Oh my god, nothing broke while I was doing that. Should be fine for now. Just gonna whatever. That's in. I'm going to tell you to do this afterwards. Do that. Okay. That's better. Okay. I think that's in. Another thing. Hold on. I need to check and see if there's one. There was. Yeah, there was. Good to know. Let's check this. So, this is. I did one of them. And the worst part about it is that I don't even know if there's one. Here's 
theoretically, you can see it, but ah, right there, perfect. So I think I need to do something like that, but that's what you need to do. Okay, that should be in there, and those all should be connected properly. That middle one there. Something. Because all these have their respective holes almost necessary, like right where they are. There we go. Crunch that's where almost all the wire sets are. They're perfect. Okay. Alright. Okay. I need to figure out what goes on that. I'm gonna assume that it stays on it unless I screw this thing up. I'm going to assume that that piece needs not one of these standoffs, obviously. Just needs um, the motherboard standoff if I have any. Do I have any? Uh, not in this. Um, I forgot to put this back into the CPU uh, or the HDMI thing, but that's fine. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if I need any of these right now, so I'm gonna. Shove them into here. As well as these ones. And some trash. Okay, uh. Screws. I guess that's just gonna hang out there. Have any thing to hold it to the end of place. I guess I could do it like this. Try to do it. So it may angle it to where it is without struggling to do that. Stay there. So I try one hand this like this.
now or any other ones. Where did I put them? Over here. Okay. So pretty much I'm just gonna go through each and every one. Except for the middle one, which just has like this thing in there. I guess it just hangs out. Or no. Another one here. It's in at like an angle, so I need to fix that. Okay. I need to put this heat sink thing back on, I guess. Because I I guess it's fine. It, I don't really have like I have these like silver ones I think. That can go on there, but I don't remember where they are. Oh, there they are. These are it? No. Um, it would be like a standoff thing. Um, where did I put those? They are. not these these are for the uh for this which we will get to those soon um uh, i seriously not like there's seriously nothing not these, is it? No. Oh, oops. Yeah, I don't remember. <sighs> I don't remember. Fuck. Shit. Well, um... They're silver, weren't they? Let's screw into it. Well, I don't know. Maybe I put it over here. I don't know. I don't know where it is. I don't remember where I put it, if there was. Um, if there was something, uh, I'm surprisingly got it. Put the cables over here. This is for 
for the motherboard, I'm pretty sure, a lot of things. I just don't know what. Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess it'll just hang out. So I'm just gonna let it hang out. I don't think I need to do anything with it. I don't think. So I'm going to continue to screw these in. But not all the way. Ah, fuck. Do this with your, your really high tech. screwed in all the way. Okay. This is a very exciting stream, isn't it? Yeah, it should go in. That's the uh that's the hole it's supposed to go into, so So I'm going to attempt it again, but this time Okay. Yeah, this thing's fighting me. in properly. This one is not going in right. Make sure it goes in right, not wrong. But I'm going to do it like this first.
that's in enough. I'll do the last three at the bottom. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight total. But if we get this in place, then we can lift it up and actually start uh, doing it. The more uh, we start plugging things in and doing all that crap and then cable managing and all that garbage, it really doesn't like this. These are like impossible to like put in like straight like this oh my god just go in fucking bitch god why are you yet, so I'll try the other one. There we go. Just gotta apply some pressure to it, I guess. I don't know. Now it just doesn't want to go in anymore. It's fighting me. Why? Why must you do this to me? Okay. Does the thing say? Don't tighten the screws yet. Go to the get the corners next. Tighten the screws. Start plugging it in. So. Okay. If I can just get this part. I can actually get that in. Unless I'm doing it wrong, I don't think I am. I think I'm getting this in right. Wow, that actually went in, okay. What about you, you wanna fight me some more? Yeah, this one's gonna fight me. I might have to completely take this one out. It's it's getting too Riley. Whatever, put that in there. Let's try a different one. Hopefully I won't need any more of these.
there should be a thing under it, right? Should be what it's going into. I, I don't think it just went into it. I think this one just... Yeah, this one's not even in, in it. So, that's good. That didn't even go into anything. So this is just not a long enough screw? Is that what the issue is? No. Um, definitely not. Okay, maybe it's just the screw is a little bit too short for it. It should have went in. That should have gone in. Looking at it here, I think it did. I think it actually did go in. It was just screw right. I don't know. Didn't. Yeah, now it's spiked me. can't really see in there, but I think it's not going in. I can't tell. Man, these screws are awesome. Love it. This one. This one's my favorite. Get in there. Come on. Get in there, get in there, get in there. No. That's not gonna move, right? God damn it. Okay. I think that's in. It's just, it's not going to want to go in any further. Which I don't know if that's going to be good or bad. I'm going to try to tighten the other screws here. And see if I can get those in. What, is, what the fuck are you doing? What's going on? You okay? I heard something snap, and I don't know if something just broke. A tightening of fucking screw. Oh my god, stop. Okay. Well, now I'm afraid that I have somehow managed to snap my motherboard somehow. That is a concern of mine. Currently, I don't know if that's in anything. I can tell, but um, fuck. Looks like the 
try lifting it and seeing if there's anything on its back. Well, I literally can't tell, so maybe everything's okay. Maybe. These cables missing. Let's get out of the way. screw too much in all the way, but these other ones Last one here, this this corner one, might be issues, might cause issues. But I don't know just yet. Now that's going in slowly. in pretty much all the way. There's this one again. That one should should go in. I don't know about this one. This one does not want to work. So it's good. It should. Alright, let's try this last one again and maybe Maybe, just maybe, it'll go in. I don't know if that's in. I think it, like... It's like just touching it. There we go. Okay. Now it's getting in there. Okay. I think that's in, but... Nope. It's not. In fact, I think the screw is too small for it, or too big for it. I don't know. I didn't expect a fucking screw like this to be too big for it, but who fucking knows? Who knows? That's gross. Okay. Um, we have these smaller ones. That's not gonna work. Yeah, this is what I'm gonna have to do. It's just, I guess, just gonna hang out or something. Cause I don't know. If this doesn't go in all the way. One for me. Say maybe this screw. Maybe this will go in. Completely. I think that's going in. I don't... Yeah, that went in. So... Maybe I've been using the wrong screws the whole time. Uh, but I don't know how 
that would be possible considering the screws I've been using uh, were not even related to these screws, but whatever. That went in. I'm gonna try something. I'm going to attempt something here. Take this one out and then put this one in. Yeah. Let's see how this works out. Yeah, that, that works. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Okay. This one, I think I'm gonna replace with the other one. Yeah, I'm gonna replace it with the uh, smaller one. And hopefully, snap anything on my motherboard and then everything works fine. I don't fucking know anymore. I hate that noise that it was making. I think that was the the stud stripping or just like rubbing against the um, thing or whatever. I think these just straight up go in normally. They didn't fight me or anything. They actually went in Meaning that I think these ones go into there properly. But it seems that these ones went in there, supposedly, I guess. I don't fucking know. I don't know, but they are. Uh, these things are a nuisance. I hate these. I don't know why they gave me a bunch of these, and I don't, I don't know. Okay. Let's attempt to pick this up. Without any issues. Radiator. Existing. Okay. Oops. I'm going to move this over here. Okay. Well, well, well. Seems to have stayed in fine. Uh, this thing exists. Okay, so these cables need to go out through here. Um, like so. There we go. In. Let me actually rotate it and just kind of see if it's okay. It looks like it's fine. It looks like the motherboard's fine, but I don't know. I really don't. Uh, but once we get everything connected and it starts, like the actual s screen turned on, then I will call it here as like the end of the stream and I'll do the rest on my own time or not on my own time but pretty much off stream pretty much and hopefully by next stream I should have everything set up hopefully for streaming everything should be good to go that's a big if because who fucking knows I don't think this is gonna go out all the way. Okay, there we go. Okay. Awesome. I think those ones are plugged in properly. Yeah. Those ones are all plugged in. Okay. So that should be fine. Um, so those ones are just gonna hang out back here for now. Uh what's next? The CPU. Standoffs. Okay, so. 
corners, tighten screws, start plugging things in, consult manual, and then front end. Uh, front I.O. So, I guess we need to start plugging in the cables that I had plugged in before. Uh, and then do all that crap. So this one is the, uh, would be this. So I need to basically wrap this all the way around. Um, so I'd have to do it like this. Ouch. Sorry. Hopefully I didn't hit any pins. I'll really mad. Hopefully everything is fine. Hopefully. And then I'll worry about cable management afterwards. I'm just gonna plug this in and make sure that that's plugged in. Which it is now. Look at that. I would have probably wanted to run the cable through here first, but that's okay. I guess I can shove it right there. Kind of has like a rustic look, you know? <laughs> You know how it is. <laughs> and just like pull that down, I guess. Worry about that later. Another ad, okay. What song was this one for? Okay. So I guess the next cables would be. I guess next would be the GPU, right? Or not. Oh wait, I should probably plug in header cables, these things. I should probably do those next, shouldn't I? This is a the reset switch. So we're gonna take this. Oh, these are all plugged in? Oh no, 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 no. They're plugged in, but they're not plugged in. Reset switch, I think, right? No, those are power LEDs. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Reset switch. Okay. Grab the reset switch. And then I'm going to do this. Do this for now. All right, so I need to consult the manual, which is right here, and find the, so that's the reset switch. I think they are, the reset button is up there, but that's not like a switch. Where would the reset switch go? I don't think there, there is a... Is there, oh, right there. There's this reset switch. In 23, which is system panel header, so that's 125, so we need to go to that page. Okay. 125. 20, 3, 25. Here we go. Okay. So re -switch, uh, reset switch is going to be the second to last on the bottom. So it's going to go... So there's, there's four switches. It has like a weird thing. And then there's a... I see. So above it, there's a. Okay, I see. So I need to make sure to put this in right. So it goes in. It's not traveling. Okay. It goes in right there. So I think I need to do it this way. Facing system.
There we go. Reset switch is now put in and it can be pulled out to here. And it should be okay. So we'll worry about that afterwards. And then we have what's next? Here. It's random bundle of cables. We have uh, the power LEDs, I think. These are the these are power LED plus and minus. Wait, what? So what's PLED? The two pin header allows you to connect the system LED. Storage device activity LED header. So we want to do the power LED, which would be at the top. These are plus and minus though, so that's not really that helpful. Which one's plus and which one's minus? No. I guess uh, I'm just gonna guess which one it is. So. Our LED will be here, I guess. And minus will be uh, the second one, I guess. It'll be right there. I think I did it. There we go. Those should be plugged in. I don't know if that's where they go or not. I'm just guessing. Because the thing here doesn't really indicate which ones it would go to exactly. But that is the system panel header. And if it's wrong, then all you have to do is just switch them. You know, that's all you really need to do is just switch them around. Is if something's wrong on it, then I can fix that. And these are all for the top part here, pretty much. So it's not like a major like. USB 3, I think. This is, I think this is 3.2 USB. Um, I think the manual explains it. Let's see. It is the cables. Let's see. So it is, it is a USB 3.1 Type C. That is what this one is. USB 3.1 Type C. Let's see if I can find that on here. USB 3.2. Is it is it a 3.2? Or would it be a 3. Point? Well, I don't even know where 3.1 would be. So maybe that's where it goes. Okay, so I, I guess it's going to be a Gen 1 3.0. Header. So up here, there, I think it goes right in there, up there. See? Um, I think that's where it goes, right here. This, That's the Gen 1, which is 10. Oh, actually, no, it's a Gen 2, I guess. So I plug that in, right? Or not. I don't know if that's going to go in or not. I, I have no way of knowing if this is going to go in. Uh, I, I guess so. Don't force it. Remember, don't force it. I think that's where it goes. Yeah, I think it does go here. It's just a little bit kind of shitty. Okay, so it doesn't go in that way. So the way I was doing it before was going to this way. I don't know. I have no indication to know if I'm doing things right or wrong, really, other than I guess that's in. Okay, that's in. I guess that's in. I don't know. I'm really looking, but it's in, I guess. So 
pull that through. It's a very stiff wire too, so that sucks. So making cable management will actually make it annoying. But, you know, it works, I guess. It works. So that was that one. There's generation one connector, which I guess goes here. Right there. But putting it on is gonna be annoying. There's really no way to do this without. Okay. I guess that'll do. Just make sure it, it goes in just right. Just be careful. Don't break it. Don't break it. Don't break it. Don't break it. Okay, it's in. It's in. <sighs> Those ones are scary to put on as well. We need to be careful with the Gen 1s. Gen 2 is a little bit nicer. And then we have the power switch. No, those were the power LED, plus and minus. And then we have the HD audio, which I don't exactly know where that goes yet. About to use HD audio. HD audio goes in. Oh, but Jules has an idea. And Grammarly's tone suggestions can help bring it to life. I don't know. Just somewhere. Because a more confident tone can get your team Is there anything board? here that mentions audio? Uh, mm -hmm. Just like that. Front panel audio header is 14. Maybe that's it. Now the team just needs to pick an edible that might be it. I'll look it, at it and see if it's the same in terms of pens. That might be it. Yeah. Uh, so it's a four pen. Grammarly can frame your message. So it's actually going to come in to the top here. And then there's a little spot there. I think that's it right there. That Right next to the safe mode button, I think. It's going to be at the very end. Yeah, it's going to be the one all the way over here. And apparently there is... One of the pens is empty, which is this one. So if I plug this in this way, this is the way that it needs to go, that it should be fine. I just need to plug it in to it. I need a better angle for the light. Click the blue button to download Grammarly today. Okay. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Salmon pate? We have enough to start I just need, I need like a good angle. You're so accomplished. Pet me please. Great prices. Happy pet. Chewy. Okay, hold on. Just get out of there, please. Okay. It's in. It's in, it's in, it's in, it's in, it's in, it's in. Okay. Alright. We have the power switch and the reset switch, which I think are all on the F panel number 23. The system panel header 125. Okay. 125. 125, okay. So the power button, which is going to be 2, and then the reset, which I already put the reset on. So it's just the power button, which is going to be right above the reset button. Which I think I put on... I think I put these on wrong, though. The uh, power LEDs the reset button there's gonna be one missing at the top of it oh no 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 never mind never mind never mind okay that should be able to go in here it is and I think that's everything I think we pretty much got everything I 
which this is gonna be a little bit hard to put in because I'm doing it fast. But I think I got it in. Push it in a little bit. There we go. I think those are in. Better hope. Better hope and pray. Those are completely in and socketed. Or not socketed, but you know. Function. You know. Okay. I think those are all the the headers. And there's the plate and there's an accessory tray. Which I don't even know what's there, so I, I should probably look at that. So we got everything. So all the headers should be plugged in as intended. And I cannot worry about this for now. And, uh, cable management, which should be back here. Let's see. Actually, you can't see. I can, but a lot of these wires are just hanging out now. And I'd have to basically, I need to like tie them together if I want it to look good. Um, after that, there's the, let's see, so we got those in, um, obviously we'd need to get the GPU in, but this front panel is good, audio, yep, um, do not plug in USB into anything that says Firewire, no, nah, didn't do that, if there's any, there's USB 3 put it the holes, don't plug it in just yet, there's a very little help in line. Okay, so we did that, that's fine. That that was a USB 3.0. I think I got it in correctly. So there was a click, which means that I can have a side release. So point two is easier to install, but still stiff cables, storage, pull out the tray, pull the tray out and make sure the label is up. Okay. So there's a label. Oh my god, we're gonna rotate that. These cables are hanging out here, I think. Yeah, good, because uh, they will be annoying. Cable management is going to be a thing that I'll deal with at the end. For now, I will just continue to do what I need to do. Uh, system tray, I'll put this in now, but I'm not going to plug it in, because uh, we want to install the thing. We want to install the... Uh, what you call it into the thing? Anyways, oh, <laughs> we're actually almost around the time that it would I would start streaming pretty much. Here she is. I think this is a clip-on one, but it looks like there is screws for it, so I need to find the respective screws. Guess for it to work. Worry about that later. Here it is. Anti static shell. And then uh, place it on here like this. I think Wait, what? Hold on. No, no. Come on. You can get in there. It's the issue. I think it no, it's not fully in there. There's something stopping it from going all the way. Something in the back, looks like. Oh. I see. <sighs> Fuck. Is that in? No. Fuck. 
There we go. Okay. So that's in. Technically, I can still screw it in, which I think there should be... There should be screws here. I don't know if these ones go into it. No, these are too big. I need smaller screws, which I think are... Okay, is it these ones? No, no. I think it can just stay in there, honestly. Oh, no, these ones work. I'll use these ones. <laughs> sure, why not? Use those. Okay. Yes. Oops. There it is. Okay. Okay. So those can go in. That's good. Uh whatever. Okay. Alright, let's see. So that can go in here now. Shouldn't be any problems with putting it in. Probably not. There we go. And I will worry about plugging that shit in in the future. Not now, so I'll worry about that later. Okay. So that's about it for now. Let's see. I do want to eat, but I don't want to stream. I screw it in in the back. Yep. Do not plug hard drive just yet. We're making less stop. Harder plug in. Cable manage. Check manual on which to which port plugging hard drive into you may share bandwidth. So yeah, there's another plug that you plug into the thing and. It's a whole thing. Uh, fans and cooling. So we can install the fans and install the fans. I'm gonna do the radiator first. I do that, but um, I think I'm gonna stop. Ah, shit. Oh no. I went too hard. Or is it left? It's, I'm going the wrong way. Hold on. It's like it doesn't want me to stop. I'm gonna probably try to finish this uh, tonight, or well, after I eat and stuff, and then I have to do the OS and everything. It's gonna be fun, but anyways, um, that's gonna uh, do it for today. Um. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, the PC kind of shit. It's about seven hour long stream, probably the longest stream I've done in a while. Uh, yeah, so um, uh, 
So, uh, I guess, um, see you when I stream again. Uh, hopefully, I will have the PC finished and everything should be good to go by tonight, hopefully. I don't know. I know it's kind of suicide to do a, uh, build your PC in one go, but, um, as long as I have most of those parts, which I do, I can probably cover it up now, so I can put it off to the side if I really wanted to, but I will probably do it all in one go. <laughs> we'll see, so, uh, yeah. Um, thank you. Um, have a good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night, whatever. And I will see you in the next one. Uh...